Wait. Oh. What's up, buddy? Uh, <laughs> Are you? Uh, fuck. Is your like family uh, asleep? I, nah, um, a little bit. Nah, it's just that they're awake, and I don't want them to know I'm awake. But they know. But I don't want to make noise. <clears throat> okay. Wait. It's just this thing where um, I don't want to. I don't want to disrupt like your train of thought or you're going with your with your stream or your topic. So oh yeah, I no, I don't care. This. We talk about this shit all the time. It's all good. Mm, okay. Um, I don't want to seem like too papago, whatever, but um, I, I've been like watching and listening to Kanye for like uh, like as long as I'm not that I, I I don't relate to him or I don't I don't value his ideas at all. I just you know I just listen to a lot of shit and wait, you're listening I watch to who? Like a Kanye or any, oh, anybody. Okay. Like I, I just watch a lot. I watch and read a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. um, and I always felt like not only is in what he says, but his, mo I think it's more of his nonverbal. The thing he does like with his mouth or with his facial features, his whatever. Eyes, sometimes, yeah. I feel like sometimes um, it's not that, you know, sometimes like somebody's smart, but he looks dumb or the opposite, mm -hmm. right? I feel like him, there's like two layers of depth to it. I feel like um sometimes he'll act woke right mm -hmm. but he's not but he's actually kind of smart does that make sense yeah i think yeah. um maybe you could even compare <laughs> maybe you could even compare him to yourself a little bit where um <laughs> i think uh you it seems like you have an interest in a lot of like these kinds of ideas but when people like watch your stream and they see you like slamming shit around and screaming nobody would necessarily get that impression right yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that Kanye West. Yeah. I think that he has like a lot of these larger ideas. He just doesn't have maybe the vocabulary to express them, and then he gets like really caught up sometimes in emotional arguments, and he just has a lot of trouble getting these things out. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like I, I feel like sometimes that he has like this whole, maybe not this person, but this whole like thing, whole like structured, like his his self that he wants to be or whatever. And whenever things, whenever things get like out of control, like he sort of like loses that like the cover like gets blown and and, and it, it goes past that maybe i'm, I'm just completely wrong but i just feel like a lot of it is like non-verbal uh, I mean, i'm sure you've noticed like a lot of times like he smiles and he stops yeah then, my like, biggest he's... thing is like whenever he talks to people a lot of the times it seems like he's staring off he doesn't actually like make eye contact with anybody when he talks to them which is kind of weird but yeah hmm. yeah I, I was i was just saying i i would i always wanted to know um Somebody who actually think about all that, sh all that stuff that could make like a conclusion on on where that would stem from is that like him trying to make a persona? Is that just him just just being like himself and just kind of weird? Is that like him trying to like uh, portray something or something like that? Is, like, him trying uh, to what? Him, him trying like to portray something or try to do something or act in a way. I, I just can't put my finger on it. And I just it, I just think it, it's like interesting. It it, it picks my curiosity. Sometimes I like to do that in real life. Like you know, I'll I'll like catch a Uber, mm -hmm. right? Like a. Uh, uh, and I'll go to a place and I'll act like like I'm a different person. I'll even like throw like some an accent. I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm an account for like this company or some shit. And I'll say like a, like a bunch of bullshit. I think it's a lot of fun, right? Mm -hmm. And so that so that I feel like like he sort of he doesn't do that, but in his oh, facial features. Oh, I know whatever. what you're talking about. He does. I don't think he does that, but um, man, have you ever played a game called Near Automata? No. Um, it's like that Japanese one where you can see the girls' panties all the time. It's like a run and hack and slash or whatever Japanese RPG. I don't know. There's um. There, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, there's a moment in that game where there's a there's like a dumb little robot that you um. There's a dumb little robot, and you're led to like kind of make fun of him over and over again because um. Yeah. There's like you keep talking to his friends, and he'll do this thing where they they all make fun of him because they offer him five like pennies for like one dollar, and he always takes the five pennies over one dollar, and you kind of just <laughs> see that it's just a bunch of people bullying a dude. But then you have a conversation with the robot, and he gives you a line, and he says something like, "Um, I know that I'm getting ripped off on every trade, but I find it very interesting how differently people treat me when they think that I'm too stupid to realize how they're treating me, or something like that." And it was like, "Smart, a, yeah, yeah, I yeah, get yeah." That. yeah it's so it's kind of like what you're talking about here, yeah. But yeah. I, but I don't think that I don't think Kanye West does that. I think that he legitimately has like he's pretty mentally disturbed. Like it's pretty obvious when you watch his behavior. Oh, okay. Yeah, because sometimes I feel like some of the drama that he gets into is so is so big and catches on fire and catches so much attention. And I'm like, there's no way this like isn't at least somewhat a little bit planned or not. I'm not saying like oh everything is scripted. Everything is scripted. Like I'm created. I'm, I'm woke or something like Illuminati shit. Mm -hmm. I'm just like I'm like, like sometimes like these things are like so uh so good and like well even though like it's drama and it's like you know some of the tweets some of the shit he tweets just fucking retarded like some of the tweets i'm not sure you agree right like some of the shit he tweets is so stupid well like right? 
which part are you talking about? Because like, for instance, like the time that he was like begging Mark Zuckerberg for money and shit, I would say that's like evidence of him being like having like manic episodes and shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. Also, when he goes on like feuds, like. 60 tweets in a row right yeah like i think it's i think it's have you ever known somebody that's like manic or depressive like like actual somebody like bipolar what is manic so have you ever heard somebody say like they're bipolar oh uh, yeah yeah so bipolar you know when people generally use it what they mean is they kind of like ex you know they swing from being like really happy sometimes to really sad sometimes so people that actually have like manic depressive you know bipolar syndrome people that have these huge episodes um but, here's an but, but they, well, i'm sorry i don't like that you're, um, you're talking about those that don't say they have it or think they have it and those that are actually diagnosed like uh to like a psychologist or whatnot right yeah but well, those are Okay. Well, I, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about people that really, really, really have it. Like, here's an example of what somebody that is really, like, manic, depressive, bipolar might actually do. This yeah. might be somebody that will um, that will feel depressed and will ignore their kids, um, you know, for, for months on end. And then out of nowhere, maybe they'll show up in their lives again and they'll come with, like, $30,000 of presents because they've, like, stolen money or maxed out 20 credit cards to do it. Like, stuff that they definitely can't afford. But yes. they'll start doing things totally outside of what they like the massive delusions of, of grandeur and cycles yeah, yeah, yeah. In cycles right and then after this happens you know a month later they might totally fucking disappear again and you never hear from them for another 12 months and then when they come back they're ready to like these types of cycles this if you look at like kanye west and i don't want to i can't like i'm not like a fucking doctor so i can't say for sure but if you watch him it kind of seems like he goes through these similar cycles where he gets very fucking manic and then very fucking depressive like over and over again it seems like that's kind of what happens to him okay in fact, sometimes these things do happen, but it's it's like it's structured or it's like it's like it has a plan almost because it's it's crazy, but it's not that crazy. Like it's a crazy like uh, train of thought that he goes through. Yeah, right. I know that you want but, to say that like it looks like it's planned for publicity and stuff, but I think that it's just that when celebrities act in crazy ways, we all want to see it, so it just ends up getting publicity. Kind of like with Donald Trump. Like a lot of people yeah. like to say that Donald Trump stuff is planned. It's not planned. But when Donald Trump acts crazy, it's really entertaining. So even if it's not planned, it still ends up working out for it, you know? Kind of yeah, like okay. um it's like what with like, ice like, with one stone. It's like or with streamers, with Ice Poseidon and all his drama, people always like scripted streams, scripted streams like, dude, I know Paul. There's no fucking way he's scripting out this shit. Like, let's be fucking real. He can't even fucking stream half the time. There's no way that people are writing these elaborate scripts it just so happens yeah. that like people can be really fucking dramatic and people love to watch that shit happen even if it's you know not planned or anything and it gets a narrative of like oh yeah yeah he, he hired this guy and this guy oh yeah and, and then suddenly everybody talk, talks about it mm -hmm. and it, 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 it suddenly because, yeah okay that actually makes a lot of sense um fuck what what what, what? i have like i have like it's like sometimes some days i want to believe that that kanye is smart some days I, I want to believe that he's not. Mm -hmm. Some days, some days I feel, I feel like he is, and then I feel like he's not. So I guess it's just like these hoops and how he feels on on these days. And yeah, I mean, uh, I don't think he's a, he is. I would say like he's not a total idiot, but um, yeah, he has a lot of trouble expressing himself sometimes. Yeah. Okay. And and for like the, the like the, the bipolar thing, I feel like um, a lot of people uh, overall say, oh, the, guys, this guy's bipolar because now he was happy like ten seconds ago, and now and now he's not like he's really he's really uh, angry or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But the, the, these aren't like uh, diagnosed like bipolar thing. Like it, it can stem these behaviors can stem from other things that are completely unrelated to someone being yeah, bipolar. Yeah, they could. Right? To be fair for Con to be fair to Kanye West, I think he actually is diagnosed as like a bipolar yeah. person. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's not everybody that has like swings and emotions are you know are, you know are manic bipolar or manic depressive mm -hmm. bipolar like yeah you, you know like sometimes like you know did, you'll be losing a game of league right and, and it'll be garbage and, and chat's gonna be trash and it's just like it's just not a bad day it's just like a, it's like a bad segment and then you'll get like a like a penta get barren you push you get in a fucking triple you pop a cabinet yeah let's go dude yo today's a fucking good day you know that's not being bipolar i don't think no is it? well I, I mean like you can use the descriptor bipolar but that doesn't mean you're bipolar right Mm. Yeah, and yeah. typically when we talk about bipolar too, these are things that aren't always set off by events. They're just things that you know, they're just mind stuffs that people can constantly be in, and then go back and forth because of brain shit, you know. Okay. Damn. Yeah, because cause I was watching um, uh, a Kanye in that in that video you were watching, and I just felt like he, it's not that like he was like getting debated, but I just felt like at first he had like some sort of composure or whatnot, and then he just pff, just sent GGs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it kind of sucks because sometimes I feel like these people like it's not 
uh, I, I, I feel like I'm going circles, but it's not it's not that I think that they're woke because that I I wish that they knew something that I didn't, mm -hmm. and I would value their opinion more because oh oh they know something. But I, I, I always like try carefully not to and take all their info like blindly uh, and and be careful with it. Mm -hmm. So. But. Yeah, because sometimes people can act really woke, but when you listen to them talk and you just realize that it's kind of a bunch of empty platitudes, where they, I don't want to say virtue signal, but they're just kind of like saying a lot of shit, but they're not really saying anything, you know, very interesting or <laughs> yeah, very yeah. informative, yeah. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad you answered my questions. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Also, also, at some point, fuck, I don't want to, because I feel like all your viewers know all these basic terms mm -hmm. and technologies and all these busy things. At some point, you know, he was like, um, "Oh, you know, when 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 black kill black, uh, that that's fine. When when this happens, oh, and you said, oh, he's falling to the, like the um, the liberal pit hole or some shit. What was that? Oh, there are these. Um, <clears throat> you know how like um, in ancient times, I'm guessing, or I guess in current times, when like if a soldier is marching towards you and they're wearing a certain uniform or like they have a certain gun, you instantly know like what country they're from." Oh, uh, yeah. Well, like, when it comes to, like, debating or arguing, there are certain people that will approach you, and you can instantly tell because of a couple things they say, like, where they're getting their information from. So, like, if I'm talking to somebody, and you're not going to be aware of this because you don't spend all day doing this, but I do it. I, fuck, there's probably some video game analogies. But, like, if somebody comes up to me, and they start saying some things like, um, you know, like, hey, so black people, um, you know that there are, you know, differences between groups and average intelligence, and that actually, if you read the bell curve, and if you look at the website, the alternative hypothesis, like, as soon as people start saying this, like, I can start, I know, like, so much about what this person is you, about to say. It's, like, very okay. quick to put it in. Yeah. Because you know that what, what they watch or what they've seen or what, yeah. what made them to, yeah, because their dialogues look so much the same that it's, like, they're just reg regurgitating what they've yeah, heard. Exactly. Right? They're, kind of, they're getting, and like, similar talking points, yeah. When I, yeah, like, sometimes I'll watch a debate, and as soon as somebody starts talking, I was like, oh, he's about to go off into this thing and i know exactly which video he's getting this from and we're gonna walk yeah, down this yeah. whole thing yeah. and it's, it's kind of sleep because it, you, you, it's like you're playing chess and you can see like his whole play ahead mm -hmm. and you, you don't even want to let him finish where he's gonna go and you shut the fuck up you know and crush him right there yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's kind of yeah it's kind of like um like if you're playing like fallout or skyrim it's like when you're talking to an npc and then you like you go down like a dialogue tree like you know all of their answers and everything it's all gonna be right uh, okay yeah. But what would that be like the thing you were trying to describe like the um, Oh, like, so like, like oftentimes or Yeah, so well, I would say I said the conservative trap. So a really common Republican talking point. Um people talk about groups like Black Lives Matter. So Black Lives Matter try to bring up issues that they think are specific to that deal with black people in the United States. One very common way to discredit this is with a movement like people say all lives matter. So something sometimes people say like, "Oh, well if you really care about black people, why don't you ever talk about the fact that black people kill other black people?" Like there's a million ways to refute how stupid this argument is, but as soon as somebody says it's like oh god like i know where all of your talking points are coming from we got to spend all this time talking about why just because there's one problem doesn't mean we can't focus on another problem and that these two problems might be totally different in the way that they originate and that these problems might even be coming from a similar sort like it's just like a really boring like there are certain kinds of things where someone's like well what about this or like if you're talking to somebody like well let's talk about like economic systems and see which one's better and someone's like well what about socialism in venezuela it's like okay well you're gonna do this fucking meme like yeah you, you know that you're gonna walk oh, down okay. a dialogue tree that you've heard a million times before and that the person if they're gonna cite this they probably don't have anything like meaningful that they're gonna say or a lot of substance to their thoughts i understand okay so what you're saying is that you you can you can sort of predict that the argument is gonna be like a oh 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 this but this okay but this but that but and it's gonna go in circles and never end it's like it's like a trap yeah. it's just, that's the whole point okay that's, that's why it's, it's called a trap pretty much yeah okay and what was that again? Uh, uh, the word for it, it was the, the conservative trap? Well, I, I mean, I call it, I mean, it's like, it's just conservative thought. Conservatives are, so like conservatives are usually, in the United States, conservatives and Republicans are used synonymously. So as the same word, um, conservative and Republican, we use them to, to mean the same thing. But um, usually when it comes to things like social issues, um, conservatives don't really believe much in like science and they don't really believe much in, um, you know, like in any type of empirical evidence or data. Conservatives will often have, conservatives have feelings about how they feel like society should work and that when society doesn't match up with their feelings, it upsets them greatly and they try to attack those things. So okay. things like women shouldn't be working as much and, you know, gay people are just wrong and they didn't, right? They have all these feelings because a lot of their views of society are kind of rooted in these like, judeo-christian values and when things deviate too yeah. much from that um they get very uncomfortable and they're not really capable of dealing with those types of worlds where they're too different from what they would like them to 
to, to be. Okay. So when when something like that happens, what if you just pull the stats and you, and you present your data calmly or whatever? Like, how would that go? Um, most of the time, conservatives just don't believe it. Um, the, the problem is that, like, if, if you want to present data to fight conservatives, conservatives will argue that your data comes from academia and conservatives have identified. So academia means like schools or scholarly institutions. Conservatives believe that all of those institutions have been rigged by liberals. So you shouldn't trust any of it. So you might argue like, hey, maybe we should do this or this for society. And they'll go, well, no, that's not how things work. And you go, OK, well, there's research from here, here, here. And that says it. And they'll go, no, all of the social sciences are all controlled and ran by liberals. That science isn't real. It's not even real science. Um, you know, and conservatives will misrepresent a lot to get to this. Have you ever heard of something called um, the replication crisis? No, I never, got, never heard about that. Sure. So basically, um, this is another dialogue tree that a conservative will run you down. Because they say, oh, well, you think social sciences are real? Well, what about that big article that was published in Nature that shows that a lot of experiments in social sciences don't pass reproduction? proved it that it was all fake right they'll take that and and it's true what they're saying is that a lot of them aren't reproducible but the problem is what they don't mention is that in that article in nature that applies to all of the sciences including things like physics chemistry biology and that the replication crisis is a problem in funding that people don't pay money to have experiments repeated because it's not very sexy people don't do it but like that's something where like a conservative is like oh well look all of your data is fake i told you they do the same thing with things like climate change right where they'll say like oh well you think the world is is getting hotter well before you guys said it was going to get colder and then you said it was going to get really hot and why do you keep changing your story like all the science is fake it's just liberals trying to control our lives right is typically what conservatives okay yeah. when 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 they literally just win for okay in this this narrative when they win for free if they just literally said okay well to prove you wrong we'll, we'll fund we'll fund it and then they fund the research and whatever comes the answer comes we'll we'll have the answer does that make any sense well i mean Oftentimes they, they block even that. So for instance, in the United States, I think this just recently got changed, but like in the United States, for instance, we wanted to do, um, we have something called the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control, right? Yeah. So the CDC does some of our largest, it's one of our largest funding avenues for a lot of health related issues in the United States. Well, for a long time, the CDC was banned from doing research on gun related violence. They just weren't allowed okay. to do it. So it's like, how are we ever gonna get answers, you know, determining what can cause, you know, people to be more predisposed towards gun violence, gun violence or what caused it when we're not even allowed to fund the studying of it, you know? So, yeah. Okay. Wouldn't that make that party look sort of uh, scummy or feel like they're hiding? I feel like- Nope. If because because they have narratives set up so that all of their people believe in it. Like you're telling so like if I was a standard conservative and I was a democrat and I was arguing with the democrat the democrats like we need to fund the CDC to figure out what to do about gun violence. You go, "Well, that's not true. You just want to fund the CDC so you can steal our guns. You're just trying to to, to get rid of our second amendment rights." Um, the CDC is probably, you know, backed by a whole bunch of liberals anyway. So as soon as you give them money, they're just going to make up bullshit studies with other bullshitters in academia saying that guns are bad and you're going to use all of that for political power to mm. take away all of our shit. That's what that's the arguments that people make against like climate change. They're saying that's what Trump says, right? Trump says that um, you know, climate change is it's a political thing. China made it up to make us less competitive and then Democrats use it because they want to tell you what kind of car you're allowed to drive. Okay. Uh, uh were you done with your sentence? I, I was like listening or whatever. What? No, that was it. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Damn. Okay. Did People say um it's, people people will say that I'm being biased here and I'm trying to be as fair as possible but everything that I'm talking about are mainstream political opinions of Republicans. These are all mainstream political Republican opinions. Republicans mainstream will fight against things like common core or mainstream will fight against things like academia. Um these are mainstream Republican positions. These aren't fringe, you know, like random screamers. These are positions that are held by the largest conservative talking heads. People like Rush Limbaugh, people like Glenn Beck, people like Sean Hannity. These are the largest positions held by the largest Republicans, and it is borne out in Republican legislation. So, I mean, you can accuse mm. me of being biased because a lot of people in chat are real mad about it. But the fact is, is that this is just per pervasive through all of the Republican culture. I mean, whether they like it or not, it's just fact. And again, like they, they might feel I'm wrong, but I mean, it's just fact. <laughs> but yeah. So, okay. Well, that's that's kind of like a racket, then. It's like sort of like a like like a scum -oz. Like you can sort of never win. You never get there because there's always like a count like. It's like there's like a path. Yeah, exactly. Of, there's a. It's like a, it's like you set up your own system so you can never be wrong. It's right? like a web. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It would kind of be like me saying like McCree is the best character, 
and all of the stat sites are ran by McCree mains that are just rigging the stats so that it doesn't look that way. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, McCree is the best. He's got an 80% win rate. And then you're like, well, no, like we can see like all of these sites. Like, nope, that's not true. They rig the site so that it doesn't look like it so that people don't like, you know, pick him or whatever. And like, okay, well, what about in pro games? Like you can see that he doesn't do that good. And people are like, no, 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 no. In pro games, they pay those people to not play as well so that people don't nerf McCree. And it's like, like, it's like real dumb. I can say like, okay, so I can't say anything to, to convince you otherwise, because literally you have like a catch 22 for every possible thing I can bring up you know okay it's how you get people like when you talk about like transgender issues people like ben shapiro will stand up there with their little yamakas and say my my facts don't care about your feelings and ignore the fact that they're standing against all of what mainstream science says like the apa the american psychologist association like all have recommendations about dealing with transgender people but for some mm. reason he doesn't acknowledge any of the science but he still pretends like science is on his side it doesn't really make any sense you know yeah okay yeah with the word with the word mainstream with the way you're approaching it i, I feel like um there's like an effect that i've noticed um in the last couple of months or whatnot mm -hmm. um i think it's a very strong effect but maybe it's like even more simple than i'll make it seem to be but it's like often um let's say let's say we, we said something over here right you said something that um fuck, it's kind of explain. Kind of let's say you say something here mm -hmm. That was that was X, right? And some on the mainstream people said you said Y instead. They sort of like out uh, of context or anything. It doesn't matter. And mainstream says Y. When, once they spread that, it's sort of over. It's like it isn't like really really hard to go out and, and like disprove that. I feel like when things go mainstream, it's like like wildfire. Fuck, it's so hard to explain it. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. Like, I, this is my life, right? Where every beginning conversation I have with somebody is usually them saying like, well, why is it that you want to give child pornography to pedophiles? Or why is it that you want dads to fuck their baby daughters? Like, I have these questions all the time. Or like, why do you want to go bomb the shit out of Mexico? And it's like, I've never said this. But like, once these facts get put out there, like people will just regurgitate them endlessly. And, it, and you, there's not really much you can do at that point, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and even, even if you were to prove it wrong, like, hey, hey that is factually wrong. Even even if you were to even get the mainstream again to prove you're right, it wouldn't even de damage the whole thing. It's still like all sort of um poison at that point. Yeah. Right. And well because it's, yeah, because I mean what would you think if you opened like let's say that you were a random person and you open my Twitter feed and everything I'm tweeting about is how much I'm not like in support of pedophiles, like what the fuck would you think? <laughs> like reading like reading yeah, a fucking yeah. Twitter feed like, like yeah. well this guy is obviously a fucking pedophile in denial. What the fuck is going on? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like um um, but I, I saw something on TV, but I don't want to bring it, bring it. I don't know how it's going to make like a, a, everybody look like or whatever. It's like something that's on TV, like some dude, um, dude, I never really saw what happened with that. I didn't, I never like took a stance or had an opinion on it. Like the dude who was like, there's like a case of, uh, him like sexually, like uh, assaulting some girl at some party or whatever. And he's like going for like, he was wanting to be like some Senator, some, some judge or some shit. Oh, uh, Kavanaugh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is that like is like bad to talk about? Is that like a no, very No, I can about it. Okay. Um Yeah, I don't I don't what, what how that even concluded, right? But at some point, um, I think Yeah. I mean, we didn't really get a big investigation into it and then he I mean, he was confirmed and passed through, so Oh, okay. So, I mean, he made I, it. Yeah, I just Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes your tone even if you speak for like half a second or you just like do like a breath of your of your of your mouth i, I can tell what kind of stance you have on it uh, right? well i mean like the problem is that like honestly i have mixed feelings about how all the allegations and everything were brought up um and, and i probably would have like erred on the side of caution um maybe for maybe for different political reasons maybe not but um his answers when he was trying to defend his um his positions were really fucking bad like oh my god like i, I actually I came away thinking that he was probably guilty of a lot of the things he was accused of just because he was so fucking bad. like the whole you remember like the devil's triangle memes and shit yeah <laughs> And it was like, yeah, oh man, he fell apart. And he's supposed to be like a Supreme Court justice, which is arguably one of the most prestigious positions in, in all of, well, well, the most prestigious position in U.S. law. And in and, and some extent, maybe even more than like being the president, like, fuck, like you're a life, that's a lifetime appointment. And you're making decisions that are going to stand for the test of time, you know, American shit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Without, um, I'm trying to be like unbiased here and mm -hmm. not be like a, not a loaded question. Let's say I, I held a um, 
a very, very similar case that is hypo hypothetical, that doesn't exist, right? Are we blue And Vega wants to go to some pog. post, or he wants to be promoted to whatever the fuck he got promoted to. I don't, I don't, I don't really give a fuck, mm -hmm. right? And it was all good and well, and then he got accused of something. But in this hypothetical, it's wrong. It's just like a false, it's somebody planned a story. Like, it's just like a fake, mm -hmm. right? Um, would it be correct to say that um, if the whole thing was like publicized, like all, all around the wazoo, like I, I CNN, like the like the whole the whole thing <clears throat> about him doing something really bad, even though he, even though if you prove that uh, it was it was fake, the damage would have been already done enough for him just to not go for it. Would, would that make sense? Wait, can you say that again? What do you mean? Like. Let's oh, say... that like a, like an accusation can be so damaging that even if it's fake, yeah. you're still done. Um, I mean, yeah. yeah, arguably that that can happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I I, I just feel like overall, I just feel like that's a concept overall. Mm -hmm. they, see, I, I want to stem. I want to stem away from like. I want to stem away from that. The, the initial like case, like the real life case. Because I don't. I don't want people to think I have a sense on it. Because I didn't. I didn't read about it. I didn't. I didn't watch it. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I was just like. I just like that concept. I feel like could happen, and I feel like it's kind of dog shit. Yeah, I mean it is. I mean that 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 is a scary thing. I mean, but it happens on the other end as well, right? So like, for instance, a lot of people say that Kavanaugh's life is ruined because of his rape accusations. But I mean, oftentimes a person making a legitimate rape accusation doesn't get anything through, and then their life gets ruined as well. Like um, that uh, Rebecca Ford or whatever has had to move like two or three times, and she gets like numerous death threats and shit. Like her life is probably fucking destroyed for a long mm, time okay. because of the accusations she made. So there are, there are definitely problems on both sides of it. It's a really tough one to handle. It's really 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 tricky to deal with it. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend there's like a clear and easy way to do it on both sides, but. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you're right. Both people lose. I, I, I sort of, I can see that happening very easily. Mm -hmm. Um, it almost makes you think of the the thing with um we talked about on the podcast last time about Kevin Hart thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What about? Um, it? Yeah, I, 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 I don't. Know. Earlier, I had an idea with that of where I was gonna go with that with that point, but now I don't anymore. Fuck. I, I just. I just feel like I'm wasting your time because all these things I could just like Google them like like what is like a like you know what is capitalist what is uh fucking left wing stist or whatever the fuck mm -hmm. right what is like what is conservative libertarian or whatever I could Google all those things when I ask you instead and I feel like it's like I'm wasting your time. No, it's not good. I mean, these are like it sounds dumb, but these can all be like really complicated issues. Simon, finding easy <laughs> answers from googling shit could be really hard. Yeah. I, I wonder, do you generally think that when you present the, um, the Democrat and Republican, do you think you do a good job at presenting both in an unbiased way, even though um, like one appears worse than the other because of the Does yes. that sense? Like, yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, I yeah. understand it sounds like I don't. And if I was totally uninformed on the issues, I wouldn't think I was because I am very, very, very critical of Republicans. But I mean, um, one thing that you have to be careful of is sometimes it can be it can be very sexy to be um, in the middle of everything. So you look at people like 14, um, like Boogie fourteen eighty eight on Twitch. He's a guy that streams. Um, sometimes what people think is like, okay, well the best position is always going to be in the middle. So whatever these guys say and whatever those guys say, I'm always going to be in the middle saying both sides have good points because it makes you feel good. It's like, oh, well, I'm acknowledging both sides. And everybody loves that because it, it, get, it gets like, oh, he's the devil's advocate. I exactly. Love this guy. Yeah. You found a way to feel superior to everyone somehow. Yeah. Like people do that. Um, people do that a lot. Um, but the problem is, is that sometimes, no, sometimes one side is just wrong. Um, and, you know, like people can say that, um, you know, like if I was to give like a most I, like I could give you a more fair reading of the Republican Party. If say you were like a, a very, um, very religious, I think I could make strong arguments in favor of the Republican Party because they're largely driven by like evangelical ideas of the uh, of the establishment of a traditional society, a traditional family unit where women Damn. stand. Right. Yeah. Like you can make arguments there. But I mean, I'm not religious and I, I generally don't make arguments that are religious. Um but if you were really religious, I could give you a far more favorable reading of the Republican Party, sure. But I'm doing it okay. from an a-religious standpoint. Yeah. Okay, I feel like you look religious, but that's that's just kind of something that you don't say normally, right? You don't say that someone can look religious, but oh yeah, I don't know, that's kind of weird, but yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know why I said that just then. What? Um, I don't know why I don't know why I said that. Oh, yeah, um, 
but 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 with the boogie thing, does it doesn't that game like just like make videos and stuff and stuff? Why, yeah, why but is every, talking about politics? because every video gamer wants to be into politics now because it's a hot thing. Because yeah, okay. like um with like video games and everything and communities, people want to all everybody wants to be able to talk about politics now because it kind of sort of affects all of us. So, but the problem is people come in from video games and the only perspective they have is from video games and they think that's like the only thing that matters. And then there's like a lot of dumb shit that gets spread around because of that. Damn. I feel like the boogie thing, as soon as you said I wants to be in the middle, I feel like <laughs> I was like, um, you were talking about train wrecks, you know, like, you know, he says, yeah, I agree, but here's why you're wrong. <laughs> I think that, um, I think that for train wrecks, and I'm not talking shit about it because I tell him this to his face. Yeah, yeah, it seems like he has a really uncomfortable thing sometimes. Like, I, because I've told him this multiple times when he talks about it seems like he can never accept that, like, two people can just disagree with each other. And, like, that's okay. And, like, people disagree. But, like, yeah, it seems like for him, it always has to end with him. Like, he'll say, like, two plus two is four. And I'll be like, no, two plus two is six. And he's like, okay, listen, you're right. Two plus two is six. But, and then it's like, okay, wait, how can you say I'm right and you agree with me? But then, like, you just said the opposite. Yeah, it seems like that happens a lot. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. How do I make this active, guys? Do I just need to dig it out? All right, sorry, keep going. No, that's right. I, I, just, I just had this feeling that overall, uh, with people, not only on Twitch, but overall in it, in general and social, I think people think it's not okay to disagree and I'll tell you not to think the same thing. It's like they they generally feel the need that the other person has have their own belief or they're like that they, they both have the same opinion at the very end. But I feel like it's not really like that, mm -hmm. right? It's for me. It's wouldn't it be like tastes a little bit? Like, hey man, I like sushi. I don't like uh corn right mm -hmm. and, and somebody else might add the opposite and it's like yeah we disagree on that right sure. oh, I, 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 dude, that was such a simple point i don't know i was going with this it's too it's like dude yeah. um fuck oh man dude this open avenues did this what so this opened like so many avenues of like a lot of um stuff that i don't know about mm -hmm. like uh the, the thing you were talking about earlier just with um and, or, or yesterday right with all the the, the econ economic system models or whatnot because mm -hmm. mm. then you guys bought someone like Marx or whatnot right is that like one of the names you guys brought up when you were when you guys were talking um yeah Marx is like the um Marx is like the uh guy that wrote a book uh, fuck Das Kapital which like lays out the foundation for Marx it basically um Oh god, okay, I haven't read this, so I, I'm, I might be brutally slaughtering this for you. But basically, Marx wrote a big book, and he basically talks about all of the problems with capitalism, I think. Marx like wrote a book, and he's like, listen, all of us love capitalism. However, these are very real problems that capitalism doesn't address, and as a result of this, these are the things that are going to happen in the future. Um, as a result of capitalism, right? That societies will eventually become socialist and communist. And he kind of talks about it. It's basically just a critique and an analysis of, of capitalism. Um, okay, but he, is a big wait, right, yeah. is he a philosophist or whatnot? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's arguably economic theory and philosophy. I think the philosophy is uh, dialectic materialism is what it's like the foundational. But I mean, like when, when you talk about like heavy economic theory and like a analyzing economic systems, there's kind of some philosophy built into it. Um, like the idea that, um, right, like the idea that we should talk about like how you know goods should be distributed in a society that's kind of a philosophical concept i, I think it would mainly be like understandable yeah. I, I think I, okay yeah let me test it out mm -hmm. then then in this in this instance the philosophy would be um the model at hand and the the economy is just 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 like the fuel to make it run right or uh, no not really actually no that that's entirely different because, hmm, I'm trying to piece it in my head. A little. <laughs> this is this is pretty hard. Dude. Sure. I'm trying to piece it in my head how 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 like the philosophy uh, mixes with the economy, or whatnot. Because I feel like how yeah. the, how philosophy mixes with the economy. Wait, what? Yeah, because oh well, like, so like. I, fuck, I don't know if anybody would consider Marx a philosopher. I don't know if this counts or not, but I'm like, but basically, like, <clears throat> let's say that we can have two economic models. In one, the top 10% earn 90% of the income, and the bottom 90% earn 10% of the income. And in another model, the top 1%, you know, a, a, all the, the money is split totally evenly throughout society, right? The question mm -hmm. of which one is better, that's a question of philosophy. Like, what is better, you know? 
that that because yeah. science yeah, yeah. And, yeah don't yeah it makes, it makes a lot of sense okay and what what type of what type of philosophy would that be um what type so, of philosophy would what be yeah because this the train was talking about like uh, i mean like and and, and analytical science oh that gets uh, into like uh, really niche stuff that like um analytic philosophy i think has to do with more formal structures of, of philosophical arguments and and um it's analytic yes. versus continental philosophy is like broader or something but I, I i don't even understand fully the distinction between these two things you don't have to know anything about that or i don't think you do to, to make meaning yeah yeah the, the other would be like oh like life and death and like the cosmos and the future shit like that like things that are like uh, untangible a little bit I don't, I don't know if that's true i'm not comfortable saying that i, I just think that one is i think that oh, fuck I should just look this up. Hold on. Analytic versus continental philosophy. Wait, whoops. Oof, he, he kind of wrote, uh, I thought, there's going to be some leakage here, boys. Oh, no, I don't like anything. This is my gaming computer, so nothing bad is on it. I can type P in my browser, no Pornhub. Uh, yeah, when you're just typing A, N, A, I thought we were going to the dark hole over there. Nope, <laughs> nothing. I'm good. Many philosophers <laughs> at leading American departments are specialists in metaphysics. They study. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, I actually save all my pictures, all my files, all my contracts, all on my PC, mm -hmm. and I, I just wildly browse it on stream. It makes me, it gives me like a thrill. Why the and fuck my heart, did you do that? Holy shit! My my heart races and it makes me feel alive. Um, okay, I don't care about this. I think my early thing was right. Analytic philosophy is basically a more detailed, I think, examination, and continental philosophy is, I think, a, a little bit broader or, or less exact. I don't know. Fuck, I'm going to go with that. You can go read it later. Fuck that. I'm too lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't yeah, have yeah, to worry yeah. about it, though. It's not that yeah. important. You don't need to know anything about it, I think, to, to make, like, or to have any understandings of any of these topics. Well, I thought it was interesting because I feel like all these concepts and all these models and all these things are, people are, are always talk about mm -hmm. is always philosophy, right? Or uh, all those things stem yeah. from people that are philosophy, correct? Yeah, this is kind of the main yeah. complaint about a lot of people that pra that study philosophy or that do research in philosophy. Exactly. Or whatever, is their complaint is that you know a lot of people say things like philosophy is stupid, but the reality is you're practicing philosophy at every single moment in your life, whether you want to be or not. So yeah. Yeah. So the the. Maybe I'm I'm saying some complete dog shit. You know, I feel like it's important always to push every field of knowledge or whatnot. Mm -hmm. I feel like philosophy is something that all these concepts are so like um not thorough. They they they've been like all like dug out. All the big all the big has been dug out. I feel like it's I'm, always it's biased. It's just like an opinion. I just feel like philosophy as a whole as a field. I just don't see the point in it that much because of its empirical maybe applications in real life. I just don't see these applications ever. Like, when are you going to hire philosophers into your firm or some shit? Like, who needs ph philosophers, right? Adult philosophers like write books and smoke weed. Um, not necessarily. I mean, there's a lot of like academic work done, but but I mean, to to a large extent, um, yeah. I mean, it can yeah, it can definitely. Um, seem like it's a waste of time and i totally buy into that or i understand why you would think that i guess like i in my personal opinion assuming you're not going to get a job in academia it seems to me like philosophy is an exercise in asking questions that you wouldn't even know you were supposed to ask and by giving you the ability to make what was once um what was once you know unquestionable very strange it kind of opens you up to knowing things that you never knew you could know so that was, I'm sorry, that was like really broad and messy, but like basically um, philosophy kind of like in, in studying and in pursuing philosophy, it gives you the ability to ask questions that you didn't even know you could ask. And then in a way it kind of enriches your life as a result of that. So maybe like, maybe a question you never think to ask is like, why should I love my mom? Like a lot of people, there's a lot of things that we kind of have built up in society that we don't I understand. Yeah, we don't really question it at all. And like philosophy just gives us the ability to kind of like really analyze, critically analyze some of these things that we take for granted. And then it just helps us understand the mindsets of other people and maybe can even change your own mindset, right? Maybe you feel so other fields. Yeah. So other fields can benefit. Other fields could benefit from it because they're doing all the maybe like all these calculus or, or all these all these research and in, in one part or something and and. Just, just the, the general uh, concept of philosophy would be like maybe we should look somewhere else, right? Instead of brute forcing this one part, would that make like a little bit of sense? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I mean, and again, like people practice philosophy without knowing it. Like we're gonna have to answer. So, like here's a very interesting question, right? Um, have you ever heard of the trolley problem? No. 
So the trolley problem is you lay one person on a track and there's five people on the other end of the track and a trolley is coming. It's going to hit one person, but you can pull a lever to save that one person, but you'll kill five. Or, or I'm sorry, it's presented in the reverse. It's it, The trolley is headed towards five people and you could pull the lever and change it so that it only kills one instead of killing those five, right? Yeah. So like, would, so people ask, you know, would you pull the lever? And then you would answer... Well, it it depends who is that the one guy because that one that one person could be more important than all these five pleb, right? Maybe. Well, that I mean that's a question in of itself. So then, would do you value some lives intrinsically over other lives? Like, should that be something that you decide on? Well, absolutely. Okay, so now, this is a question. This seems like just kind of like a fun philosophy question, right? But we could make this play out very pragmatically. Let's say that we have a socialized health system and let's say that we have like some of the best medical treatments in the world, but only like yeah. two people can fit in these medical treatments. How do we make these decisions then? Should we only do the people that are worth the most to society or should we do the people that have the most money? How do we even value the people that are worth the most to society, right? These are questions of philosophy well, that at the well, end of the exactly. day- Exactly, well, yeah. a philosopher should be able to, to, to theorize what kind of question or test should be able to quantify who has more value to the, to, to the world or, or, or its current organization or whatnot well maybe like but at the end of the day you have to value a whole bunch of things that a philosopher can't tell you how to value too the a philosopher only gives you the tools to analyze them but it doesn't tell you which analysis is right so for instance on one end you might have a doctor that could save a million lives and on the other end you could have the pope now if you ask uh, an atheist who you should save the answer is obvious if you ask a catholic who you should save mm. the answer becomes much more difficult and a philosopher can't tell the catholic that they're wrong you know then what if you make the average then Right. Well, the problem with appealing to averages is that if we go back 200 years ago and we ask people, should slavery be considered right or wrong? I mean, like, oh, appealing, true. yeah, it's really rough. Yeah. But basically, like, the point I'm trying to get is that, like, you can't, like, you don't study philosophy and then it answers all the questions of life. It just kind of gives you the tools to properly analyze the questions and kind of come up with answers that are more satisfying for you instead of just being frustrated. Okay. That, yeah. It, the, I think so. That, it, I, wouldn't then it be sort of justified to cap how many philosophers you can have? What if it gets like... <laughs> no? Um, well, no, because how would you choose which ones you want and which ones you don't want, right? Yeah. Well, because... Um, at first, I, I was sort of close-minded because... Not close-minded, I, I was just, I guess, uh, like, ignorant. I feel like philosophy... The whole point of philosophy... Or, or studying philosophy would be to later on study philosophy and then talk about philosophy and then teach philosophy, but there was no real product at the end of the day. That was, that was like my, my sort of uh, ignorant thought. Sure. Right? I mean, to some but extent, then, it's largely an academic pursuit, yeah. yeah. Hmm. But now now I, I generally then I see a value because I understand that you, you could rethink about solutions that you already have or rethink uh, questions or ask new questions or whatnot and yeah and that's why whatever. i enjoy it because i feel like it gives me the ability to ask questions that i or, or to yeah to kind of dig into issues that i wouldn't know before how to do it and because i do so much politics like at the very foundation all of your political questions are philosophical ones right like if i'm yeah. arguing for social health care well why you know how do i think money should be distributed in society well why mm -hmm. should someone be able to take money from someone else right yeah yeah I feel like most of the, like I said, earlier, like most of like the big digging mm -hmm. uh, with philosophy and most all, like, all the big concepts have already been like dug out, right? What no. if these because like, so, I mean, no, it, well, it, it, it's a never ending field. That, that That's what you'd be saying, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't think we can ever solve philosophy. That's my personal opinion. Other people might not agree with that, but I mean, oh, well, yeah. obviously, always it's a, it, it, it every, almost every field is like a bottomless pit. Like it, it never really stops. But I, I feel like most of the big concepts, like, Kind of, I but I think so like the problem is philosophy is unique and that philosophy kind of asks questions, I feel, that don't really have answers. Um, so okay. that's what, kind of what sets it apart from other fields. Well, I always enjoy philosophy. Like, I, in school where, where I live, you're forced to have th three courses of philosophy mm -hmm. uh, when, when you go between high school and college. Um, obviously, at some point, it's it's school, so it, it was kind of dog shit, right? Like, you know, it becomes like just like homework and just analyzing like the same text and shit because it's, kind of, it's just like kind of triggering. But but I would actually go like after my class or, or in the bus, I would go on my phone. I would like dig up like all the, uh, all the interesting stuff that I want to learn about philosophy because I think philosophy is really, really fun, mm -hmm. right? Like all these things you learn and it, like make sense and shit. And when I, I think my philosophy one class was like the most interesting and then they got kind of boring, but sure. I yeah, I mean, it can, it can be really interesting. 
I mean, philosophy is kind of like psychology too, and that there are a lot of concepts that are really interesting. But if you get super hung up on studying like the history, it can get really fucking boring. <laughs> yes, right. yes. It, may, it makes me think of um, the cavern of so said less to said less of that. So great. I'm gonna go with it. Sacre Blue, what? So Socrates, yeah, dude. I was about to say Socrates, I didn't want to say Socrates. Because that's how we say it in French, Socrates or whatever. Oh, yeah? Wait, Socrates. what about him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the analogy of, of his, like, cavern, uh, whatever. Socrates, uh, Socrates' cavern. Oh, Socrates' cave or whatever? Or ca you might call it cavern? Sure. Is that the one? That's the thought experiment where people see shadows on the wall and some guy figures out it's not real and they kill him or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was. I, I just thought like these were, these, that was one of the initial concepts. That's a, that... Yeah, so like here's like a concept. Transgender concepts are really good to dive into because these are the things that we feel the most strongly about. But upon further investigation, we find that our feelings are really unjustified, right? So here's an example on how we can use that thought experiment to kind of look at other things in, in society, right? So we feel very strongly that there are like men and women. Um, and we feel this, we, don't, we feel this at the very least, we feel it in a sex sense and maybe even um, in a gender sense, a lot of people still feel that way, right? Um, but upon further investigation, you might ask like, well, why? Why do we differentiate people into men and women? Why are these meaningful distinctions and categories? Um, and it seems like something that's self-evident. Well, I mean, okay, men have dicks and women have vaginas and they can make babies. And it's like, okay, well, you know, some people are born with different parts and some people aren't. Or why do we value these parts in determining so much of your identity over something different? You know, like why not separate out people by height instead? Height can be incredibly important in your life. You know, whether or not you become a famous basketball player or can do other things can be determined by that, right? Um, it seems like one of those things where like gender and sex even are things it's like oh well it's very obvious that this is why we do this and this is why we do that but it's not obvious these are actually all value statements as well even when you're talking about something like biological sex what you define as male and what you define as female are ultimately just value statements that you could go back and redo if you really wanted to yeah, i was just exactly yeah mm -hmm. I, I okay with with that train of thought um it's not an argument it's like a, it's like a thought mm -hmm. since since the word biological i my brain almost like jumped to the to the so the thought of like, let's say, let, let's say yep, you're going to like, not a doctor, but like, like somebody who's like trying to diagnose like a problem, like, whether it's like um, uh, physiological or mental or whatever. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you describe, if you say, oh, I'm a guy, well, he knows like the levels of like testosterone that you would have or all, all these things. And he could, and he could sort of um, pinpoint like, uh, I don't know, fuck. Continue on where we're going, and, and no, I'll... I understand what you're saying. So, like for health-related reasons, um, there are definitely reasons why you would want to identify as male or female, for sure. Um, you know, like do I, you know, do I want to make an, an appointment with? Do you know what an OBGYN is? No. Um, it's like an obstetrician or like a vagina doctor in the United States. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like you know, it's probably pretty important how you identify here. Um because you're not going to go see an, in the United States you're not going to go see an OBGYN if you're a guy right that doesn't make any sense Obviously, either, right yeah. yeah so in that case you know um now you've found value so I, i'm not going to question you further i'm not going to say well why should we care if we're healthy most people agree we should be healthy so most people agree that we should have meaningful ways of communicating to doctors so we use a male female distinction here because it makes sense but that's only in a very, very narrow part of our lives. Why would we make that same distinction, um, you know, in all other aspects of our lives? Because what if, if us identifying as male or female or making these distinctions um, impacts us in way, way more ways than just deciding whether or not we should go to the doctor, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, obviously, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Okay, uh, can you continue on where you were going with it uh, in the first place? You were going somewhere with it. Um, well, I'm just saying that, like, there are a lot of things that, like, there are things that we take for granted, like, should you do this or should you do that? Um, you know, like, what about eating sugar? Should that be considered immoral? Should you even be allowed to? Yeah. You know, right? Maybe you should, maybe you shouldn't. It makes you happy in the short term. It makes us all worse off in the long term, depending on how you define worse off. And then, and then your answer wouldn't really have a conclusion or a point to it. It was just like a... Well, I mean, like, it seems like it doesn't have a point, but I guess, like, if you're at least a little bit versed in philosophy, right, it, you would have, like, basic tools to investigate this, right? So instead of just saying, like, well, I don't know, sugar can be good, could be bad, what you would really say is, okay, well, what's good about sugar? Um, the fact that we get to choose to eat it. And then what's bad about it? Well, it could shorten our lifespan, and it could burden society with financial costs and taking care of people that are getting really fat. So then you have to ask, you know, well, what's more important, my ability to make personal decisions or, you know, the burden on society? And then you 
you could maybe investigate, well, where's the line for this? So for instance, should everybody be allowed to own their own nuclear bomb? Probably not. So we know that we don't want everybody to have infinite freedom. Um, but then, you know, should every single person be allowed to go out and, and rape other people? Well, no. So we don't want people to have ultimate, you know, um, freedom. Oh, wait, that's the ultimate freedom one again. Um, the other one would be, um, or, or the, the exact opposite is, should we be allowed to tell a person, you know, every single thing they should eat or shouldn't eat? You, you would say no to that because you don't want them to have no freedom, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, so, yeah, so you see that there are two extremes and neither of those are acceptable. So you have to try to, like, draw out rules and, and come to a middle agreement for, like, well, what do we allow people to do? What don't we allow people to do, right? Maybe one thing, maybe one rule we could write is, well, people should be allowed to do things as long as they don't hurt other people. So raping or murdering people, that's out of the way. And it's like, okay, cool, well, we accept that. But what if it's hurting people in an indirect way? What about parents that do um, drugs while their children are in the household? Well, that's probably not good either, right? But then we can kind of get down to a slope and it's like, okay, well, what if you do something that causes you to get sick, that causes other people to pay more taxes to take care of you, right? Is that right or wrong? Like, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, absolutely, sure. It, it gets hard to answer, but at least like, at least if you're well-versed in these types of like arguments, at least you can begin to answer the question rather than just be somebody screaming like, oh, that's right and that's wrong without having, you know. Okay, so you were gonna apply this to like uh, transgender whatever. Oh, I'm just saying, uh, like, questions of sexuality. These are things that people take for granted all the time, that people believe are, like, um, are very obvious. But the reality is, is that these are very, very difficult questions to answer. On, like, um, you know, how much of our sex or gender, you know, should be written the way that it is? If people are different, should we allow that? Um, yeah, these are just, they're questions that are, like, very, very difficult to answer. Yeah. Mm. And, and they're very value-driven questions. They're not obvious, like, oh, well, this is just fact, you know? Yeah, I try not to do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, sometimes I feel like I'm gonna have an idea about something, right? That is like too brick, right? I'll be like, I'll be like, don't do that, and I like, I, I can't. I sort of catch myself. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Like, I catch myself. And I'm like, mm. yeah, brick, like brick, like um. Sorry, I was in chat. Brick, like, uh, like it's it's too it's too it's too strict, it's too molded. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so I'm sort of like even upset myself that I didn't see like the the other the other parts that I was missing or whatever. Maybe oh, that, sure. I guess I, I could be just be like ignorance or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just don't even know. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, I do, this happens all the time to me too. I'm not like some perfect arbitrator of, or arbiter of truth or whatever. Yeah. 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 I always say damn, but I feel like it's. A lot of info is like a sponge, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes I feel like um, it's like when you're studying, like you get like a bunch of stuff, right? And it, you don't really have a, like a full grasp on it, but you still you keep studying and then they go to sleep and it just, like, you know, like yeah. that, boom. It just all snapped in. So I did, it's like the other day I was like doing like a boss in a game mm -hmm. and I just kept doing it. I kept failing for like hours and hours and hours. And I, I, I was regressing it at the end. Next day, I woke up and I got first try. You know that's right? wait. You know that's how you learn, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's like that's like a really well studied thing. That if you um part of what happens when you sleep is codifying short term memory into long term memory. That if you practice something a lot during the day, that when you go to sleep, that's part of what we do while we sleep. Is all of that becomes a more permanent process, so that when you wake up, you're more adept at the skill that you had been practicing um, than before when you went to sleep. Mm. Damn. Um, okay. Well, I sort of want you. I sort of wanted you to uh, continue with with where you were going. Wait. With the gender thoughts? No, no. I just wanted to let you like whatever you were talking about before I came on because I, I feel like I, I, I drove your content like a fucking like a fucking car. Oh no, that's okay. I gotten like really negative lately, so it's always good to pull back sometimes and do basic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> negative about what? Um, just people in general are just very, very fucking irritating to me. Um, I feel like I, I feel like I'm not, I don't consider myself to be like exceptionally intelligent. Um, but I feel like I figured out a lot of stuff that a lot of people should know by now. And it's very frustrating that when I have conversations with some people, they're f more stupid than I, th I think would be possible for a human to be stupid, given the position mm. that they're in. So like, for instance, like, um, you know, I have a debate with some guy um, who is a very, very big YouTuber, very big into a lot of political stuff. And we're getting into arguments over, say, like, what's causing black people to be, you know, ruined in the United States. And his argument nah. is that the problem is that black people just don't get married enough. And if they would do that, it would fix all of their problems. Like, these are 
are people that have massive audiences on YouTube and I get very frustrated when I deal with these types of people because I don't understand how somebody can be so popular, so famous, yet do so little homework or research in any of their positions. And I run into that a lot and it's like really, really, really fucking frustrating to me. I, I think that's something I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at. It's even if I have a stance on something that can uh, um, spread opinions about uh, about it, like, it, and obviously like just influence it overall. Like even even if it's just like a Twitch stream, like you still have uh -huh. influence, right? And if I have a, an opinion about something, I try not to you know like brute force it on people, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever. Like if I recognize that oh you know, people could have other opinions about it, I'll just say my in depth about it. I'm not gonna say hey guys have my opinion, bitch. Like get that shit, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I want to understand that, that the first version that you would go through if, if people that had like a big platform wouldn't even have like the, like the basic concepts down or, or wouldn't even be open-minded to yeah. relearn them or whatnot. I, I sort of get that when I go to the mall, right? I'm like, I'm like in an alley, right? And some people are in the middle of it with their little, slow ass car and looking around. I just want to fucking knock them the fuck out. Boom, bam, knock them out. Right. Wait, dude, why? Like, How did we get here? What? Yeah. Like, dude, like fucking move, man. Like, you know that dude, oh. if you're with your car, you don't go in the middle of the alley. You go to the side. You, you, you shut up. You go in the middle of it. Man. Are you serious, dude? Are you serious, dude? Like, you, you, I can't make that. I can't make that up. How can you have a car in, in, in the mall or in, in the grocery shop and be in the middle of the whole thing and just go like AFK? <laughs> like, are you fucking with that? Dude, yeah. just dude, this shit. That's why I don't go outside. This shit will ruin my day. If this, if I go out and I have to get something, and I have to go out of the house, and I go to a mall or something like that, and some dude's in front of me and does that shit, my day is ruined. My <laughs> stream will suck. My whole thing will just be garbage. Do you think that's healthy? Why are you so upset about it? I don't know. Like I feel like the biggest things don't trigger me, but these small things they just make, they make me so tilted. Okay. Holy shit! I I, I actually got upset. I'm actually here right now. <laughs> Gotcha. Because the other day I had to go to the to the Target before I came back to Canada, mm -hmm. and I was at the Target, and it was like I was like old people <laughs> in the middle of the of the like the big alley, like like almost like the boulevard before the alleys, and they were just like sort of slow pushing and whatnot, and I hear like I like baby crying. And the mom doesn't then doesn't do shit to make it stop. They just they, fuck it, dude. You just just keep crying, dude. People have ears. It's you know it's all good. And I'm like, oh my dude, I'm about to do a tornado spin. It's, you know, you don't get that. You're kind of like a zen mode. I'm like I don't I wouldn't say zen, but for some reason I'm like I'm usually just really chill publicly. I don't know why. It's like a god given talent because it helps me deal with my debate shit a lot. So I'm just really lucky. I don't know. <laughs> Because I'm really chill on like airplanes and shit too, but a lot of people will get like really upset like when babies cry and shit I can just sleep through it. It just it's kind of annoying, but it's whatever But I know some people get like really fucking heated For sure I mean, like I said like like the biggest thing sometimes will do nothing to me at all Like mm -hmm. even like the, the thing that, that obviously should do something to me like uh, uh, That should that I should care about I don't I'm just, I don't give a fuck about it mm -hmm. But it's these small things. They just it's like like the big stick like a big one like two PVC like two by four and boom it won't do shit right but this small small needle will go all the way to the, like to the end of my thing. right sure so I guess it's... <laughs> I can't reach it hey PVC but there you go holy shit I don't know how we got there oh yeah yeah, yeah because you were saying that you got upset at when you are you with some with some big YouTubers or whatnot, and they're just mm -hmm. fucking retarded yeah. or brick. Hmm. So then that that would make you upset. Then yeah, I guess because you can sort of not relate, but you know, since you have influence, like you see, like the the power that influence have has and stuff, and you can see how damaging it can be. Yeah. Or they can be. Hmm. Yeah, today my mom did snuck in with food and it made me so uncomfortable, dude. Holy fuck. It was so bad. It was so bad. Can I not get this guy to mind this? Is my dude really gonna die over here because he's a fucking idiot? Did 
Did, is there stream bug for me? What, why did your viewers like just like skyrocket? I, I never look at viewer counts, but now I have nothing to do, so I'm like on your page and whatnot. Um, I probably gained so, about a thousand talking to you. That's probably real. Because oh. I was about forty two hundred before. How do I yeah, um? How do I dig this, guys? I need a way to make this guy dig this. You gotta take the rock out and break it. Yeah, I don't know how to make him dig that because he's about to suffocate because <sighs> he's a fucking idiot. Just break it. I don't really understand the game. Like it's, I feel like if you were to go full genius mode on your viewers, right, you could like scamaz them in a nice way, right? You could give them a game that is easy to watch that doesn't isn't that complicated, right? But it's sort of complicated for you, so it's good for your brain to be stimul stimulated. But for them, it's easy to watch. I kind of like Minecraft, I guess. But sure. I mean, like, StarCraft was kind of like this. If you if you play at a decently high level, you can kind of play it without thinking about it, and it looks really complicated, but... No, no, I mean the opposite. Like, for you, it's complicated enough, so your brain is stimulated by it, uh -huh. right? But for the viewers, even though it is actually complicated, it looks not only so they can actually just sit, sit back and watch, like, CSGO, like, a gun, oh. shoot, blood, dead, right? Yeah, I got you. Oh, I guess for me, it's usually the opposite, because my best content is usually when I'm just talking to people. That's what people like exactly. the most, so yeah. I need stuff that doesn't, like, super dry my brain. Mmm. Yeah. Ash makes a lot of sense. What? Ash makes a lot of sense. Oh, I, oh I, I, yeah. I have a question. Do you stream a viewer count on or off? Um, no, I'm always watching my viewer count. That's why I was oh. able to tell you before we started talking, it was at about 4,200. And then I think now it's like at 6K or something. Mm -hmm. I, I took it away like, I think, seven months ago. Mm -hmm. I look at it I look at it like, I think once or zero times per stream. Yeah. Yeah, for, it doesn't bother me. Um, I guess I like to know like what makes it go up and what makes it go down. And if it's going down, I kind of understand why. Like when I, if I turn on like StarCraft or Minecraft or like start talking to somebody like you, I know that it's gonna go up. Um, if I start um, playing Call of Duty or whatever or something like that, or, or play this game and I turn my music on and I'm not talking much, I know it'll go down. Um, but I just, I like to have a general idea of like what I do and how it affects my viewership. Hmm. Fuck. But if like it, it, yeah, if it fucks your mind over, then yeah, you should probably just yeah, exactly. Because sometimes I don't want to alter the content based on how good it's doing it. Because I feel like if I if I believe in it really, I could I could make like anything work, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't want the numbers to hold hold the juice back. Does that make sense? Sure. Hmm. That's that's an actual philosophical question. Because sometimes people would say, hey, there's more viewers, it's better, better content because more people are watching it. But I don't agree with that mindset whatsoever because some, so, certain things take longer time to introduce, certain things take a longer time to build up. Uh, uh, the, some things are just bad to have bad initial viewability. Some some things, you know, are, are explorable. Uh, you know, like there's not really like content around it. But I don't want, sometimes I just want to not think about any of it and just do, right? Mm -hmm. But if I look at viewer count, it will affect how I'm gonna do. So it won't even have the time to pop up or the time to, to launch and, and see its true potential because I'll kill it before because I saw the view kind of going down. I was like, dude, this, this is bad. People don't like it. Fuck it, I'm killing it. Sure. This is one of the reasons why I think I kind of asked you this question uh, yesterday, I think about like finding out what makes you happy. I would be really scared if the thing that made me happy was having it so that other people we're having like being happy like that's why i always like prioritize on my stream and my viewers know this i only do what i want to do um and i don't really give a fuck what other people think um i know obviously if i were to lose all my viewers i would have to change that but people seem reasonably happy with it but like there are things that i could do that would get me way more viewers um you know so like playing squads for instance with people all the time would probably get me more viewers but i don't usually enjoy doing that so i won't do it even though i know i'm losing a lot of viewers doing it just because i think that staying like sane and being happy is way more important than trying to always maximize for viewership i think that can have a really bad impact on your mind over time you turn into mm. like um like greek greek god x or somebody um not that he's bad but just people that get like really hung up on like their viewer account and then start to psych themselves out over it you know yeah yeah of course you know what I, i'm not i mean you know like uh this is like a streamer that does that where like the numbers numbers went down and then because the content changed but instead of just like pushing that new content or whatever it's just stuck up on like the loss and it just went crazy a little bit mm. a little bit yeah i'm sure people can figure it out but Mm. It, it's why 
Okay, what, what about this topic? I, I don't want to talk about the streamer things too much because I feel like it's not very um, relevant to the viewer, to the to the people in the chat, and they're like, eh, you know, like I'm listening, but eh, you know, I, I don't really care if I that much, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> just like the topic of um, fuck yeah. Let's say let's say on stream you never bring up your account ever. You never talk. And you never talk about subs. You never talk about viewers or whatever. Uh, maybe subs or whatever, but you don't talk about viewers or whatever. I feel like if you create this sort of environment that you don't you don't talk about it, you don't antagonize over it or whatever, it'll be fine. But I feel like if you talk about it too much, then when it goes down, people are gonna just be a little bitches about it. When it goes up, people are gonna be hyped about it, and people it's like there's this sort of like a concept of that doesn't really go anywhere, right? It's, yeah, it's that can like actually a, get really annoying. People talk about it. Um, I I ignore it. And I don't say anything about it. But like it's really dumb. For instance, so here's like something: if you get hosted by somebody big on Twitch, you're always losing like eighty percent of those viewers pretty quickly afterwards. Oh uh, yeah, but probably people, even more than that. But people will talk about it a lot, and I feel really bad sometimes because like I'll host someone and I'll host for like four or five k viewers, and it's maybe like a hundred view streamer, and they'll lose like probably around three or four k viewers pretty quickly, and people are like, oh my god, yeah. what a shit stream! Like everyone's leaving. Ellen, it's like, well, dude, they got hosted. Like those people aren't necessarily gonna stay. Like fucking chill. Yeah, yeah there's a lot. There's a lot of reasons why that. Yeah. Some people watch the stream all day. They're, they're exhausted. Maybe mm -hmm. the content's too different. The percentage is too different. Some people just like your beard. Uh, this guy's beard's kind of trash. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come back when when Destiny's beard is back on. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. It's like I always like trying my best to always never bring viewer ever because I don't even have it myself. Right. But then there's like a big influx of viewers from like live stream channels or whatever, and these guys are like viewer count Andy's. Like literally, they just, they just bring up viewer count all the fucking time, yeah. and they're like, "Oh, you actually see Paul Chan, twenty five candy, twenty five candy, right?" And then, yeah. and then, I, and I'm just chilling out. I'm playing like some fucking random game, dude. Uh, dude, eleven candy, lol. Like, yeah. dude, guys, like, I'm, I never made this environment like that. Like, why are you being like, such a fucking retard? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty dumb and pretty sad, yeah. But I mean, it's you can't do anything to change those types of people. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I get users because it gets the streamer mad. That's just kind of true. It gets the streamer mad. <sighs> so what, what? What about the game you're playing? Um, have you I heard of a game remember. called RimWorld or City Skyline? Uh, I think I've seen you play those games. Like, it's just like or Factory.io. Yeah, it's basically like when you play the game, you're trying to get resource one, but then after you get too much of resource one, you start to need resource two, and then you need resource three. But once you get resource three, it ends up giving you too much of four and five, so then you need to make six to get rid of four and five while you're getting three, so that you can keep getting one and two. It's like those kind. Of, basically, that's like every game, like City Skyline or RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress or this game or Factorio. Like all of these games are like basically just balancing out a bunch of different problems at the same time. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're making your own economy philosophy. <laughs> something, that is. something like that. Yeah. Somebody, somebody download this map and then map fucking Destiny's brain out. Yeah, maybe. Destiny's a comrade. You've been playing uh, Bloodborne, right? Yeah, uh, honestly, dude, it's it's too hard. Uh, I'm not enjoying it that much because the, the dodge mechanic is too different and the hitting mechanic is way too different. Yeah. I'm not used to it. And I feel like my brain is my brain is like breaking the dark soul mechanics and I'm just going crazy with it. Oh, have you? Do you know what iframes are? No. Do you know that like? When you roll, there are periods in your roll where you can't get hit by an enemy attack. Yeah. Yeah. So like when you start playing dark when you start playing Souls games, a lot of people never figure this out, but like really playing these games is when you start to learn the iframes. Um so like a lot of people play with like shields and play with like a lot of HP and you can get hit kind of and you block and stuff. But what when 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 the game really takes off is when you realize like, oh, okay, well I'm really supposed to be doing is rolling every time somebody attacks me. And once you start to learn the timings of those rolls, the game becomes like a trillion times more fun. Um I yeah, an iframe stands for an invincibility frame. That's like um basically during parts of your rolls, enemies can't hit you. Okay. But even if you have iframes, some attacks 
have a hitbox that is in a certain area for too long, then you'll still be inside the hitbox even if you roll a certain. So you have to roll in a certain in the other direction. No, it's, right? that's very 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 rare. Well, you do generally have to like aim your rolls, but I don't think there's any attack that you can't escape from with a well timed roll. Generally, no, I'm... no, no. Of course, I mean these yeah. games people admit it. Like, uh, you know, like don't not no touch or no, mm -hmm. no death or whatever. Yeah. Not being hit once or some shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because Bloodborne has been like kind of, kind of, it's it's been kind of upsetting for me. Mm -hmm. Like some of these, uh, the bosses don't get staggered that much uh, from what I, from what I've been playing. Um, you have to like multitask items a lot sometimes. Like, oh, I, I'm gonna heal, heal, swap, medicine, swap, play my weapon, do that shit, fucking boom bang, gunshot, pow. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot of shit to do. Yeah, I mean it's it can be a lot to manage, but uh, like I said, like once you once you start learning, I think like the iframes, I think the game changes a lot. Like when I watch people, because there are people that play with like the big armor builds and stuff, and they just like max out their HP and shit, um, which I mean you can do. But like when you really start learning how to roll, the game becomes a lot more fun. And then if you get really good learning how to parry, you know, can change the game a lot too. But um, but yeah, then you're not like sitting there spamming flasks with like fifty thousand HP in the corner, hoping to out heal the boss that's beating the shit out of you. You know, you're actually like rolling and whatnot, and the game feels a lot more interactive. Okay. Do you ever like what? What's your mentality with um, bringing your viewers into trying like some of, some of, like some of the other shit? Do you feel like you can't really like talk and have a conversation because some of the other games are too gameplay related or too story related, and you want to be able to give it your attention that you want to talk at the same time? It's like too distant from the content. Too distant from the content you normally do. Yeah, sometimes it is. But if I really enjoy it, I don't care. I'll do it. Like when I played games like Nier Automata, like my viewership takes a hit when I do that. But I'm okay with that. I like those games. Oof, kind of like you're chewing on some rocks with our voice. Kind of like what? You're chewing on, chewing on some rocks. Oh. I got tortilla chips, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go better. I have one more question. Yeah, go for it. How old is Nathan? How does Nathan what? How old is Nathan? Oh, I thought you said how does Nathan. I thought you were gonna finish it. How old is Nathan? Um, seven. Um, I feel like sometimes Nathan is like says like these, these precise, kind of like low key big brain things, and he sort of like gets you a little bit, right? Don't you like get surprised by that sometimes yourself, or do you not get surprised at all? Um, I mean, I I understand. I think kids are really intelligent. I think kids are a lot more intelligent than most people think they are. So I mean, like I usually give him a, a lot of credit. So I, I, I think he, he's pretty intelligent, but I think most kids are really intelligent. I think a lot of people think that kids are fucking morons, um, but kids are way more intelligent than most adults give them credit for. They pick up on a lot of shit that a lot of people don't realize, I think. Mm. Did you give him, like, a... Does he have, like, Lego blocks and shit and shit like that? No, because I got him into the computer shit, so he, like, he plays, like, Minecraft and shit instead. Oh, okay. Do, you, do people in chat know if that has, like... If there was like actually good good value out of like having kids with like stuff that develop their brain properly when they grow up like fucking blocks and counting shit and and cups and shit and would that like games like Minecraft fill that get fill that hole? I don't know. I don't think there's been research on it. I feel like of all the psych research that I'm available that that I feel like I've read that it's I feel like it was unanimously agreed upon that like having screens in front of children is usually bad for their developmental process. So I don't know. It's, okay. I, I don't know where the research is right now on like playing interactive video games versus like watching TV or something. Um, that's an area that I, I probably should have spent more time researching, but I don't have them all the time anyway, so that's my excuse. Mm. Holy shit! Hey, I have a good story. Mm -hmm. You want to hear it before I go to bed? Go for it. I, I tap my like it. Okay. So a while back, right? Ah, uh, then this is pretty. This is pretty. It's a pretty long story too. Uh, no, I guess about go ahead. Okay, 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 yeah. So, I, I was like full retard in school, right? And and my my um, how would you say that? You know, like the principal was like, uh, your kid's kind of like disrupting everything. He's kind of retarded, right? Um, like they, they were like, send him to do at least like a like a psyche valve or some shit. Otherwise, we, we're kicking him out. 
Yep. Okay. So then they sent me to do like some sort of uh, eval, and they plug my brain into some machine that has like uh, a lot of wires to it and gel, and they put gel in on my like scalp. Yeah, to increase the conductivity. Is this? Yeah. It's not an EKG. There's something that where they measure the brain or whatever. But yeah, go for it. Yeah, they, there was like the the alpha, beta, gamma waves or what lot or whatnot. Yeah, there was all of that shit. Mm-hmm. And then and they sort of calculated my brain and maybe like do a bunch of things because they thought I had like ADHD type of shit or whatnot. Uh huh. <clears throat> and yeah, 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 that's it. The, the one you have, the one you have. Yeah, yeah, got it. EEG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, then it like sort of scanned my brain over a long period of time. Mm-hmm. And it made me like do tests while I was scanning, such as like um, hearing noises and seeing things and clicking and whatnot when you see something or when you hear it or what not when you not hear it or mm-hmm. when you hear something else or some shit. Mm-hmm. And, there, and then we're like, I, you know, he doesn't have it. Right. Did they but tell there's you still what they like, were testing you for? Or? Yeah, yeah, like, like ADHD or whatever or, or some other shit. Right? Like there was like no problem. But there was like there was there was some some parts. Remember, there was that there were weaker. There were like yellow and red, and right? it was two two of them were red and one were yellow. Mm-hmm. And I, I've I've ever said some of that story before, so so maybe some of people have heard it before. And um, and technically, they brought me to this. Um, that at this point, this was, this was like later down the years. There's like more like voluntary. Okay. Right. Or. My mom had like insurance that, that she could use every year for some sort of stuff and she was never using it. So I was like, you know, dude, I'm kind of like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just fucking do it. So I signed up to this, this place. It's like a facility. It's like not futuristic, but it's pretty advanced, I would guess. Mm-hmm. And it's a sort of facility that they train like professional like hockey players and football players and, and like uh, high, high people, whatever, to get their brain to function better. Or... Uh, and fix these areas that are that are slower or worse into improving the, them, right? Okay. So then what they would do is that three times a week or two times a week, they would bring me there to the facility and they'd put me in a room and they would sit me down to a computer screen, right? And they would put a, a solution that had salt on it or some shit. They would put it on my ear and they would put two connectors to my brain, one in front, one in the back, and these two places that were that were so weak. At first, it was only one. And then, it there was um, on the computer screen there was two bands, um, two sort of columns, and these were the frequency at which my brain was going, right? Okay. In that spot, and one was the target at where we wanted to be. It was it was like a, a, an interval, like between like three and six, and you know whatever. And then. It, they would give me uh, a um, a bunch of animations that were made specific to that, such as well, my, my favorite one was the roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, someone, someone has it in the chat. You know, yeah, it's like feedback something. And what it did is that it's like some the roller coaster would only go forward when my brain would operate at that frequency that I was aiming at, which is what my brain doesn't normally function at, right? Okay. Yeah. So, so then you're like, well, how do you get your brain to function at that frequency? It's, it's impossible. Like, how my, hey, Brian, yo, yo, do, do, do three to six. It's impossible. But then you sort of, uh, they, te- they teach you like brain techniques or whatever, and you sort of put you, you sort of put yourself in like this, this sort of motor focus state, and you try things. You just try to like different like sort of ways to not think but look at the screen, or I'm more focused towards this, and more to, or more focused on the screen overall, more focused on my surroundings or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, a column would align, and it would be in the target area, and then the roller coaster would go forward. And when you're off it, it would stop. And it was the most frustrating shit I've ever had to deal with. It was crazy. Right? So, what exactly were you doing? Were you like controlling a game or a screen or? Yeah, 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 yeah. The game was that the roller coaster could not go forward unless my brain was operating at that frequency that we were targeting at. Okay. Right. So it was never moving, and then I was like focusing uh, on nothing, on testing, trying things out, focusing on, on on more like you know, like I said, like focusing on different things, and then oh, for a second I went forward. Holy shit! What did I do? I'm gonna do it again, and then you try to emulate what I just did, and it was kind of hard at first, right? After after a couple of days, oh, a couple of weeks, I'm sorry, this is just clicking. Oh, holy shit! This sounds really interesting. So there's some pattern 
or some lo- some kind of electrical signals that your brain is giving off when you're thinking a certain way. And your goal exactly. was to think in such a way that the roller coaster would go forward and the positive reinforcement of that would cause you to get into those thinking patterns more normally. This sounds really interesting. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, almost all of it. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Okay, yeah. this didn't make any sense to me, but now I, my brain is, my roller coaster is moving forward now, so I got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then it, it took a couple of weeks. Okay. And it was start, it was start going better for like at four, you know, like, ah, uh, stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stop. Uh, and at some point, I was able to do like all of it, like the almost the, the whole thing without ever crashing once. But then they're like, okay, well, you know what? Here we go. Like, this is going to be a little harder. Then they then they put the roller coaster, and the roller coaster would fucking go backwards if I if I wasn't in the target. Okay. Right. Now think about this. So now not only do I have to think properly, now it's going fucking backwards, right? So now I have, to, I have the thought that holy shit, I'm failing something, right? And now I'm under I'm under stress. Like, dude, I gotta fix that shit. Now it becomes even worse. Now you have to deal with all these sort of things to make it go forward while it's fucking going backwards. It's just crazy, dude. Like, dude. And I was like, dude, stop going backwards. Like, it gets upsetting. It's it's fucking frustrating, dude. Mm-hmm. Right? Because because you're trying to go forward, but you can't use your hands, your legs. You have to use your your brain patterns or whatever. Yeah. It would kind of be like like the easiest way I can think of to explain this would be kind of be like learning how to wiggle your uh, like wiggle your ears or like wiggle your yeah. nose or whatever. Yeah, Ex- where it's like Ex- you want to just be able to like grab it and do it, but you have to like think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then after I was done with that, then it was like, okay, well now we're going to hardcore juice mode. Now we're, now they put both sensors on both my l- bad frequency of my brain parts, right? Uh-huh. Both of them at the same time, and the roller coaster would only go forward. If both sides were both in both white frequencies simultaneously, mm-hmm. right, and it was the same concept, but it, that was like way harder because you had to align both at the same time. But sometimes, like, well, the left one went run red, but the, but the other one went, was green, and then the opposite. I was like, dude, how did I do it, right? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, then I was like, dude, like, I, it, it was working, and then you know, and um. I succeeded in like doing like the, the the whole like training shit. Um, I was able to like do all of it, and then they like scanned my. I was like, you know, like is it actually gonna pay off? Or, like, is it gonna like, do some shit? And they actually tested me before at, at the end, and um, these parts were were green now, which is crazy, right? There's there's actual like evidence that it something worked, right? Do you really? So you do you feel like it helped him, or I'm not helped him? Do you feel like it helped you, yeah. like? It's it's hard to feel it. I feel like mm-hmm. it's hard to like. You can't really say, "Oh yeah, dude, uh, dude, I'm fucking smart." Dude. Fuck you guys. I'm I'm 2.0, motherfuckers. But it's not like that. But I guess it's like a so, not subconscious, but I guess my my head just runs to normal now in ways that it didn't. It, it was like a little like lacking, but I can't. I don't really notice it that much. Oh wait, was it this thing that's on my stream right now? This picture? Yeah, yeah something like that. That sounds like really fucking crazy. That sounds really awesome. Holy shit. Yeah, it's pretty chill. Well, how old were you when you did this? Yeah, it was like five years ago, four years ago. Oh, so this was kind of recent. You were a teenager. So like 17 yeah. or 18 or whatever? Yeah. Uh, I was like about to drop out of school. No. Weird. Yeah, it's pretty... I mean, did you feel like did was... school become easier or anything like that or no nah, i dropped out oh did you stand <laughs> long enough to see if anything became easier or did you just drop out like pretty quickly after <sighs> no it was like it was like a... <laughs> it was like at the i don't think it was related um if i dropped out it, it was unrelated to any uh performance type of thing i oh. I, I think it did i i was failing but I guess the reason one of the reasons I dropped out is like I let's say if I skipped one class out of any of my classes, I would be scared or, or embarrassed to go back to catch up on what I lost. But like guys, you know, because I know that I didn't go to the doctor or whatever, mm-hmm. right? I know that I just I just didn't wake up or I fucked up, so I'd be embarrassed. So I didn't I didn't go again, right? And I'm like, like, oh, but now I'm too, I'm, I'm too coarse to back. They're gonna be like, yo, didn't he like drop out? And I was like, oh, I don't want to go again. And I was just, I was, they just failed my classes by just being embarrassed of not going because I missed one class. Because like, like the, the two years before I dropped out, I, I would, I'd be like every class, I would always be there. Like I never miss anything. 
that that shit's pretty hard to deal with like mentally i feel like but maybe i'm just kind of a fucking pussy if you're wait so like your fear was like you'd fear that you were missing class i miss one i miss one class oh. and i'm i feel like i'm embarrassed to go back and ask what i missed and ask to be next to the others that that know and and be like a, oh, oh what is and always like play catch up but not in the way that if i had to go to the doctors it'd be fine right like yeah i was the doctors you know, but now i know in my head that i didn't go to doctors but i don't want to lie you know, I'd be lying to myself at that point, and I, it embarrasses me or whatever, so I didn't, you know. Wait, so I still I, don't I understand. Go... Wait, so what exactly was it that you were embarrassed of, that you would fuck up? No, that I fucked up, that I, I missed my first class. Like, I missed it one time. I'm embarrassed about it. Oh, I'm okay. not going to lie to myself. Yeah, I, I, maybe I didn't wake up in the morning. I, I feel guilty. Okay, interesting. Gotcha. Yeah. So then it, it snowballed, but the, the years before that, like, uh, and like I said, I, I, I'd always go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's that's kind of trash, though. I feel like it's, that's kind of... I think a lot of times if you just face your problems and when you have a problem with someone or whatever, or you have to deal with something, you, you, you know, you just literally just call or just say, hey, and fix it. Mm -hmm. But more, than, more often than not, all you have to do is literally type and answer like yes or no, I'll ignore and not answer at all and cause like a myriad of problems that I'll end up ignoring also just because I didn't want to face it the first time. What do you mean by that? Um, I have a good one. There, I was supposed to go to, to Germany, right? For okay. Gamescom mm -hmm. and Twitch paid for uh, my my flight, my hotel, they had, they had a string pod for me. They had my name on the door and shit like that, mm -hmm. right? And I was like, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna be sponsored to do like a bunch of that. I didn't want to do it. I was, just, they were just gonna pay me to just show up and just stream from the pod and just have fun and meet the people there. Mm -hmm. I was like, dude, you know what? I, I, I was thinking of going because all the people from my stream wanted me to go, but then I was like, oh, you know what, dude? Like, if Twitch wants to be there, I was also like, it puts me in good standards. Like, sometimes it's not even like, it's not even like you're selling out. It's like, it puts you on a, on a good resume. Right, with, with others that you're around, correct? Does that make sense? That Wait, I'm sorry, fuck. Somebody just linked me a dumb tweet. I just read it. Say that ending part again? No, 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 no it's okay. Say, well, let's say if you were paid to go somewhere, uh -huh. it's not that much It's not that much that you would go for the money. It's just because you want to be in good standards with the, with the person that's giving to like just like Twitch. Like, oh, sure. If Twitch, if Twitch is reaching out themselves to, hey, man, want to go there? And yeah. we're gonna pay if Sennheiser work? offered me to go to like Vegas to do some streaming event, they were going to pay me like $500 to do it. it. The money is shit, but I would want a relationship with Sennheiser, so I would agree to do it, right? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. right? And that's how I felt about it. I was like, you know what, dude? I'll do it. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it, 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 it was good juicers. Like, they offered me that. It, Twitch was very, very generous. Mm -hmm. And I had flights, dude. I had hotels and shit. And then I was like, dude, my, my, my viewer account's been bad. Because I, I, I mean, I check stats, stats sometimes. I, I check stats uh, every, like, two or two days. Okay. And I thought, not only the stats, but just my streams were bad. Like, I had just bad streams, mm -hmm. right? And I wasn't confident. I just thought, dude, like... I need to get like, I need to get the, my juice. I'm not getting it. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, I, I will miss at least one day or half a day of traveling to go there. One half a day on the way out. What if, what if I'm, I'm like a dead stream by then, right? If, if I make it, I'm just dead. Like, you know, nobody watch my shit anymore, right? Yeah. And I had all these, all these just bad twisting ideas in my head. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was going crazy, dude. Right. So then I was like, oh, fuck it. I'm not gonna go. And then, and then someone would ask me, and he would, be, and he would be like, "Hey, man, you you still going?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going. We're good." And I'm like, "Okay, you have a flight like uh, in two days." And then, and then they comes, and like, um, "Yo, you going?" I don't answer. I don't answer. And a day later, they're like, "Oh, well, you can still go to the event or whatever, or whatever right?" Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Oh, shit, shit, I fucked up. My bad, my bad, my bad." And like, okay, well, and then they bought me another flight. <laughs> And then they oh, comes wow. and same thing happens <laughs> again, but right? and I, I just don't answer at all. I just I just never they just they just kept they just kept asking me and I, just, I never answered. Twitch was calling me, and I was never answering it. Right? Mm -hmm. So I was like I was like so embarrassed, dude. I was like fuck it. I, I'm so, I'm so dumb, dude. I'm so like I can't. Why am I so stupid? Mm -hmm. Right? Such a simple thing. I could have said no. Two letters, right? 
Yeah. I didn't want I didn't want to face the problem. I didn't want to uh, This type of anxiety by the way is super common. It seems really stupid, but like a really common way that this might play out sometimes is um somebody might want to be like they're a person that likes to stay home and they just want to like stay at home and do stuff and just hang out for the night and then like a friend is like, "Dude, like we're going to go do whatever tonight." And like the person might say yes even though they don't really want to and then they end up going and they hate it the whole time and they're just like there and they're like really stressed out like why the fuck did I come here this is so stupid but they like kind of have like a lot of anxiety about answering yes or no to questions like this in general or they yeah there's like a lot of dumb shit that goes on with this type of stuff that a lot of people I say dumb shit but like a lot of people experience these these types of like kind of social anxiety feelings and whatnot yeah fuck it's like and it's not even that that some of these people were like um you know, sometimes if these people that are like strangers, like it can be like, you know, eh, it kind of was understandable. Like, eh, you know, like you didn't know how they were going to react or whatever. Mm-hmm. But some of these people were like, well, eh, I don't like kissing, you know, Twitch's ass or whatever. But they were like really not ni- like people that were working with me on that were like really nice. And I, I had like someone like like an agent type of thing who was working with me. Mm-hmm. And he was like, just be open, man. You can just talk to me. It's fine. And I still wasn't able to do it. I was just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was all laid out for me, dude. It was all. Laid- I didn't have to do shit. What about you? Do? I was gonna have like a mentor. I, I, the, the whole thing was like, I just have to, I just have to get out of the house and just get on whatever traveling plan I had for me, dude. Mm-hmm. It was that easy. And I just can not fucking do it. And I, just, I, I couldn't even say two letters, man. Oh my god, I just felt so stupid. And then I got TwitchCon, dude. And then I went with like Greek and soda, right? And we had like this, this little party. And and, and my Twitch partner part, uh, partner manages that, right? Mm-hmm. And I see him. I'm like, dude, he's gonna bring it up. He's gonna bring it up. He's gonna bring it up. He's gonna bring it up, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and then I go to the party, or whatever. Like, I eat my food, and I'm like, hey man, you know, if we want to talk later, you know, we can talk. I'm like, oh fuck, shit, sure, sure, man, fuck, dude, fuck. <laughs> and then they were mad, right? They were mad, and yeah, I mean, I'm sure Twitch has like a lot of money, or whatever. But it's, mm-hmm. yeah, it's not about the money. It's, it's about the it's about the principle. Yeah, I mean, it sucks because, like, I don't know if you realize this or not, but if you really think about it, uh, there's a really good quote. And the um, and the quote is, people wouldn't care what other people thought about them if they realized how seldom they do. Like, does that make sense? Well, wh- no, what seldom? What does that mean? Um, seldom means not often. So I seldom think about you means I don't often think about you. But, like, okay. in our head, this is especially true when you talk about things like going to the gym, like, or, or, like, if you're in public and you accidentally trip or spill something, like, in our head, we're thinking that, like, if I was in, like, a restaurant and I accidentally spilled a drink and everybody looked at me, it's the most embarrassing fucking moment of my life. It's the worst thing ever, and it's so fucking horrible. But, like, if you step back and you think rationally about it, like, do you remember the last person that you saw spill a drink? No. Like, you don't ever think about it. But, like, when it's happening to you at the time, you think that people are going to hold on to these things forever, and they're going to be the worst thing in the world, when in reality, they're, they're never a big deal. It's never as big a deal as you hype it up to be in your mind, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Um, in this in this video, I get that, and sometimes I'm able to, to think about that in the middle of the things, and it makes me feel better. Mm-hmm. I'm good at it. But sometimes... Um, in this particular instance, I just felt like not a lot of people like believed in me or believed in what I do, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Right? And for once, it wasn't like a small company, or whatever that that believed in whatever. It's it was Twitch, whatever. It's the fun one that was stream on. Yeah. Right. And they believed in me enough to go out of the way and talk to me. Right. Mm-hmm. Which, the Twitch is pretty big. I was like, dude, Pog Champ. Right. And. I wasn't able to deal with it, and I just feel like it's just trash. But in in any case, I feel like I'm maybe I'm, I'm better now. But we'll maybe we'll see next time. Yeah, sure. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Although now yeah, I'd but, be so worried after it happened before. I think I would fucking freeze up. Yeah, but then but then I. Not only did I did I, that, I didn't even say no. I like disappointed them entirely. So yeah. that's, that's that's complete dog shit. <sighs> the um the one of the worst moments that I had for this in my entire life. So when I went to college, I went to college for music and music was really fucking brutal in terms of the amount of hours you had to put in in classes. So I don't know if the credit system works the same, but like in the United States, usually every credit hour is about how many hours you spend in a class. So if you're taking like a three credit hour class, you might have like two one and a half hour class. Or if you're in like a five credit class, you're going to be in class like five hours a week or something like that, right? Usually. Now labs are like three or four hours and only be one credit, but generally that's how it goes. In the music department, a lot of our classes would be like one credit 
and it would be like six hours of, of time a week. It was horrible, it was so much time. So I tried to do a music degree because I wanted to, because um, I, I love music and I'm passionate about music. I want to be a, a really, really good at it. Um, but I also had to work full time as well. And I didn't have like, um, like parents didn't help me for, for school or anything. So I was working 60 hours a week um, while trying to do trying to do school. We had a big concert that we had all practiced and prepared for and everything on a Saturday. And sometimes what I would do is I would get off of work. I would go into work at around 9 or 10 p.m. And then I would get off work at around, um, I would get off work anywhere from 6 to 8 a.m., depending on how busy it was. I would try to sleep for around three hours, depending on what my morning class was. Um, and then I would go to class, and then I would usually nap, like, during lunch, and then try to go to my evening classes, and then nap, and then go to, like, a concert or whatever, and then nap, and then go to work. This is, like, my sleep schedule. Well, one of the times when I did this, my alarm went off, and I woke up late for a concert. <laughs> so Damn. I drove to the concert hall, and, um, and I see like everybody is sitting down. So the whole concert hall is seated and the entire wind ensemble is seated. And I walk in through the back and I have to walk in. Not only did I have to walk in on stage in front of everybody in the concert hall because everybody was already seated and they were already preparing to play their first song. I also didn't know that we had to wear a uniform for that day and I was out of uniform too. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know talk about juiced up? <laughs> oh man, dude. That's pretty bad, actually. I got reamed so fucking hard by my director when, um, after that concert, when we went to rehearsal the next day, and I knew I was gonna get fucked too. And he was like, you know, and it, like it was in front of the whole the whole fucking group. He was like, you know, um, that was a really big fuck you to every single person in the band when you showed up late to that concert. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So damn, that was my but that was still, one of like the most but, embarrassing but fucking still, moments of my life. Man. But for the I feel like for the people that that know. Mm -hmm. how much you how, how much you were doing i feel like it would have been not a fuck you but it, and it may be like an inspirational sort of uh... no 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 it was it, i mean i i bit off more than i could chew for college that was my fault okay. um, I, I don't like to turn around or anything i just see yeah, i fucked but but yeah no i mean like yeah that was definitely like one of the most embarrassing traumatizing fucking moments of my life <laughs> wait wait so you, you didn't say that much right like like three four hours something like that um for what you, you you didn't sleep that much like during that part right like uh Oh no! Well, my my sleep was always broken up. Like, um, the thing is, is that sometimes I would have like a nine a.m. class, and then from like nine to ten thirty or nine to eleven, and then my next class wouldn't be until like one or three, depending on the day. Yeah, yeah. So happens, I would sleep yeah. after my morning class through lunch, and then I'd go to class, and then I would sleep after that class. And I always had like on Wednesdays, for instance, I had a three p.m. class, or sometimes I had rehearsals at four or five p.m. So I could sleep between classes, and then I would go to work at eight or nine p.m. Mm. or or eight to ten. Okay. It was depending on the day. Yeah, it, it was all varied on the day, but yeah. If you didn't sleep for a lot of days in a row, would you ever get these things, these like uh, big, huge patches, like rashes on your chest and shit like that? Like red and like itches and stuff? Do you ever get that? No, I don't think so. No, that sounds pretty uh, okay. shit. I, I did that a lot. Whenever I'd, I'd go to, I'd go to school and I'd try to do other shit. And then I started like, I, I, was doing, I was doing like the whole world, mm -hmm. but never sleep. I, I would sleep like three hours a day. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would do like, um, like, not like, oh, not like two or three days in a row, and then you know take a break. I, I, I think I did it like, like four weeks in a row, or something like that, or even worse than that. And at some point, uh, I think it's something that I don't know, like my immune system or some shit, where um, I think it's maybe like a uh, chicken pox, something like that, or you know when you're young, like 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 the red dots that go on you or some shit. Like that. Yeah, we call them that? chicken pox in English. Yeah. Yeah, when your immune system it goes like trash mm -hmm. it actually goes back out or something like that but it's like a different form and i got like twice oh damn yeah it's cr it was crazy it's so bad so you were just so you got the chicken pox multiple times basically or well it's like the adult version or whatever i don't know what's the word for it whoa but... we in english we call that shingles is that what you're talking about I don't know. Maybe that's not it. It's not that. It's like. A, well, was, yeah, it like was it like? Was it excruciatingly fucking painful? Uh, maybe. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I don't know what your like what pain is... tolerance is, but like shingles is generally considered to be a very, very, very fucking painful version of chicken pox. Yeah, when yeah. You get older. It, it's like it's like I have my skin inside out, pretty much. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like when you know whenever like whenever you cut yourself, you know. Oh, he's like... talking about hives. You know, you know, like inside your skin, you know how how much it's sensitive. It's like that was exposed to my real skin. Hmm. Do you, you see what I have on stream right now? Did it look like this? 
Oh, uh, your, your your fucking camera's on it. Uh, yeah, 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 it did. Gotcha. But it wasn't that big. It, it wasn't like that huge. It was like little small patches. Did it look more like this? Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. I don't know. Can you get? Sh I thought shingles only happen like after puberty. No, that's, that's herpes, right? That's, uh, uh, no, 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 no. This is shingles. Okay. I, all, although sh shingles and herpes might be the same virus, aren't they? No. Uh, shingles, also whatever. known as herpes zoster, is a viral disease. Are they the exact same, or are they a variant of the same? They're related, aren't they? Nah. I, I, mean, I think that, that's really common. I, I feel like I've heard people have that before. Well, because these look, this looks exactly like what a herpes outbreak would look like. Like it's very, very, very similar. And see, people say in China it's a variant. Gotcha. And listen, motherfuckers, I got my blood test done multiple times. I am as healthy as it gets. I am a top tier athletic P1A visa handler, world class antipana, <laughs> juice mode. Good job. No one will ever doubt you again. Yeah, I could be wrong, but I think that that's caused by like when you get like no sleep at all or some shit or yeah. Um, I don't know if that can be. Ca it might be like getting very little sleep over a long period of time can cause you to become stressed and can have bad impacts on your immune system and then can make you predisposed towards getting that maybe. Yeah. Ask him the origin story of the word juice. Where did juicing come from? Um, comparatively, where what people would think it is, like, oh, do you got like on like social media, or whatever, with, with like the the importance of the word. But I actually always sort of always sort of used it, and it, it it's not like I it's not like I came up with it. Maybe it's just like it just sort of happened. That I read it somewhere and it stuck in my head, or something like that. Okay. But I feel like I always I always needed a word, like. You know, people say that that cringe, like, you know, dude, let's get the bread. Ah, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of a ha-ha. And yours is juice. Yeah, well, it's just sort of um, get what you need in, in that time, right? Like, um, it, it doesn't it doesn't need, like, a de like a definition. It's like a concept. It's Juicing like, get what, you, get, okay. get what you want, right? Like, like, it can even be anything. Like, a girl can have juicers, you know what I mean? Yeah, of like course. two huge juicers. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When he said juice the first time, I thought he was talking about steroids. <laughs> nice. <sighs> Look at the fucking juice. What do I do if I'm at max gas pressure, guys? Should I just start like venting shit off in outer space or? I don't know if I want to lose all this hydrogen or not. Do you think any of the DJs in chat play this game enough to where they got to that point in the game and they know the answers to that? Everybody and you know in my be... chat has played every fucking game I've played somehow. I don't know how they do it, but they always manage to, yeah. Do you think it'd be coordinated enough to give you an answer that, that we would send chat yep. without getting debated? Because in my chat, dude, like, I, I know people play these games, but I know 75% of them that they, they, they did play it would just debate me. Oh, they like, would just debate you? Yeah, I can't have any playthrough. Like, it, like I literally cannot have a playthrough of a game, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, hey, hey, kill that guy. And I start killing him. And people start saying no. And people start saying no cap. So people say no debated. And people say yes oh, yeah. cap. Yes oh, debated. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, people do that shit to me sometimes. Yeah. But it's spam so hard that I can't see the ratio of, like, which ones are which. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, okay. There's usually, like, at this point, there are a couple people in my chat that I know I can trust, so. Oh, okay. The worst is because of the minor delay. Do you ever have things where you ask chat a complicated question where like, do you guys think that I should go and kill like Orgorn or should I walk over and do this? And then everyone chat is like, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's like my number one <laughs> trigger. Like, I start uh, screaming at people when they do that. I was like, answer in complete fucking sentences, you fucking idiots. That's, that's, like my, gotta, that, that's annoying as well, number one trigger. And that's, that's actually very triggering. And you know, sometimes like I'll be like, "Hey, hey guys, you know, let's do this, guys." And they're like, they're like, no smile, shit like that, you know. 
Wait, what? What does that mean? It's like... You're trying, to, you're trying to do something nice or something productive, not for yourself, but for the chat. Like, yeah, hey guys, let's do this activity or like, you know, hey guys, just, just, just do the poll or log into this and we'll play together or whatever. And it's just like no smile, you know? It's no. Wait, they smile. say no smile or? No, they say no smile. Oh, just... it's kind of like a variation on the meme when people are like, I made this smile. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah, 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 it's, I, it's yeah. the opposite. It's like a sarcastic, like, no, I'm not going to do it. Fuck you. Yeah. Some of these things are simple, but they're, they're pretty good. Hmm. Sometimes I feel like memes get stale, but some of them need to be stale because there needs, needs to be like a bed. There needs to be like a bedrock of basic memes that everybody can agree on, and then more specific ones that people that from the channel can have, or more specific ones that people that can know globally from Twitch and stuff like that. Yeah. But the most repetitive ones are so needed. It's like a needed harm. Are there any memes in your chat that like? Are you like one of those people that fucking hate Resident Sleeper? Does that drive you crazy? Uh no. The thing is that I feel like some of my community might, some of them might be young, and some of the hard spammers were being little bitches, but they were just misusing a lot of uh, some of these emotes, and you couldn't do anything. Like there was this constant Close every time I would switch variety, they would just spam Sleeper like all coordinatively, just spam it, mm -hmm. and it's like I can't even talk to the chat. I have any interesting discussion about the game because it's just only sleepers. I can't say anything. Yeah. So, so then they, they want us no point at that point, right? Because it's just it, it's just like a block of sleepers. So what am I supposed to do? Shame. Guys, why is my base so fucking hot? Right. <laughs> so then it's it's like it's not even that you're triggered by it. It, it literally blocks all avenues of next content with chat or interaction with the chat. I don't have to. I would have to turn my monitor off and just talk to myself. That's not a fun way to do variety or at the games. Yeah. But yeah, so, some of the women's that, it, like, my bot is getting more advanced with the women's members. Like, if you spam something like three times without any whatever, you'll get like timed out or warned or some shit like that. Gotcha. Going uh, hardcore. Min maxing your bot. The bot's loading. Please get the CO2 filter. Wait, what is that? Yeah, it was really, actually really fucking annoying. And so yeah, I removed it, but I don't know, I don't know what else. Well, I don't know what we were talking about before that. Um I gave an embarrassing story. You said it seems like you've got like a lot of social anxiety. Um, you know. Mm. Someone well, in my chat named Tyrone Blackhammer wants to know why you banned him. Uh, I can I, I can pull off his logs, but wouldn't that give him like all what he wants? His name is Tyrone Blackhammer. You probably don't have to. He, he sends okay. So what happened with this guy is that he was always to be like a like a sort of a nice guy a little bit in chat. Uh huh. And at some point he. He sent me an email. He said, mod me. And then he said, reason, I'm black, right? <laughs> Wait, this guy really did? Yeah. And then he sent me another email. He said, and he said, after a bunch of emails saying the same thing, he said, he sent me another email. And he said, um, mod me or I'm going to die, right? And I didn't mod him, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, he's just dead. And then he sent me another email. I said, um, hi, this is Tom Blackheart from heaven. I'm talking to you from uh, higher up or something like that. <laughs> okay. Dude, because I, I read my emails, I had to go through that shit. Like that's just, just, just fucking, that's just complete brain dead shit, right? Yeah. And then starts sending me DMs written in like nice, like fancy lettering with like wine glasses, saying, you know, I'm ready to be acquired my mod position, and shit like that. And I got, I was like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> now again, getting mod. Now he just starts sending like really like negative shit in the chat just because he didn't get it, right? Like, it, like, just like being a chatter is not enough for him. You obviously absolutely want to be a fucking, you know what I mean? Like, you actually want to be mod or nothing. So then he just starts, like, finish just yeah. sleep for every game. See, why is he playing this shit? Why is he playing this bootleg garbage piece of shit game? Hold on, let me pull some, some more logs. Hold on. Uh... 
Fuck, I, I, I erased it. Fields of Braidman W. I, that guy was banned in my chat. I actually don't know how he got unbanned, so I was just curious what your experience was with him. I guess it's not that bad. I should probably unban him. But nah, fuck it, dude. He's just kind of negative most of the time. Or all the time. But he spams it at times that, you know, he knows that I don't want that shit. Yeah. Oh. oh. There are people in my chat that do this. I actually ban... I actually really don't like these people. You know people that, like... I don't, I don't know the relationship you have with your chat. Maybe it's different. You have people that like go from becoming like genuine, probably fans. Like you're pretty sure they like your stuff, and then for some reason they just become anti fans. Like, and they, they, but they don't like, they don't hate you, but they all they do in chat is spam like negative shit. Like that's it. Yeah. But they I'm, don't actually, don't... they don't hate you or anything. But they just like that's their way of joking is just constantly spamming negative shit. You know. Yeah, I have those. Yeah, I don't. Like, I can, I can name them by fucking. I'm not gonna name them on stream, but mm -hmm. I know all of them. There's like maybe like eight. This is one of this one of them was, his name was like Milkman. He was always nice, and something happened. I don't know. Maybe I said something or something, and he went, he went crazy. Started only negative shit. And I banned him and I banned him. And I was like, dude, one warning. And then I banned him, and then he just started like, like hating on everything, being like really hurtful and shit to like everybody around me, like just being dog shit. Uh huh. And then other people start doing it, and it's like, okay, dude, well, you know what, dude? Yeah. Just, just uh, there's no point. Just ban it. Like, they make new accounts. I have somebody who made uh, like 36 new accounts, but he would always speak in the same way, so I, I would just buy them. But I think, he, I think he gave up at this point. Jesus. Who's the one guy in Trainwreck's chat that he brings up all the time? Talks about how this oh. guy's made like a thousand accounts or some shit, like literally. Pyro? I don't remember. He's like, it's any oh, Hades. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this guy? Is? Do you deal with him at all? Yeah, he's like a serial racist or something. Oh, damn. Trainwreck brings this guy up all the time, dude. This is like his mortal fucking enemy. The yeah, human so Treyarch, I, I guess. Okay, so I had, a, I had a Discord group against him or something like that. Uh -huh. Some mastermind made, like, I think, like, over 500 accounts of just racist shit. Like, like, you know, he, he would type, like, XQC underscore kills uh, you know you know like any of the variations of, of 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 the words and shit yeah and he would sub every day with like 20 accounts mm -hmm. for like two months straight 20 accounts a day for two months straight. it was it was ridiculous jesus at the point where i had to I had to disable alerts entirely oh wait and it was always racist shit yeah I think I might have had this guy in my chat as well. This happened out of nowhere where I had that one guy they would constantly make like racist accounts. Yeah, he was like real weird. I wonder if it's just, I bet it was the same guy. He's the only guy, it's only one person I've ever seen like go that hard before in terms of like doing like weird racist shit. But but, but he never stopped, like it, it was crazy. Like, uh -huh. it, was, it was it was thousands of dollars of money. Like Yeah, really this guy would it. stop, he didn't do that many, but it was hundreds of dollars for sure. This guy would just keep making tons and tons of accounts and doing it, it was like really weird. You know? um, I'm sure maybe I have like a couple of Cool, my chat was in your chat. I'm sure I'm sure you remember how how bad it uh, how bad it was turning alerts off and shit. When what? Say that again. When I had like I had like to turn alerts off and shit. I'm sure there's a couple of people in chat, couple of people in chat to remember. Oh. It it was it was literally, it was unbearable. Uh, they started donating and shit, and it it they would never stop. And then they had bots. He the guy bought bought a round of bots in chat, and maybe a few hundreds, maybe a thousand. And it would all spam like you know, kill, you know. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Why would you bring up crazy, Hades? Though. You know how many tryhards and Simon bras. I have to deal with in every stream. Like the yes, mythological god Hades owl. is such a unique I name. Now I am getting spammed at D in chat. I'm watching your gameplay, and maybe I shouldn't, but. I have your account at the bottom, and it, it jumps up 500, jumps up 500, jumps up 500. But it's it's still rising. You got like 700 new viewers. What's going on? Um, having you here chatting, and then my organic viewers, and some of your viewers coming in. Although what happened earlier was really weird. I wonder if no, somebody no, tried. It ha it. Yeah, it happened again. Dude, Dude today I, I'm not kidding. I jumped 5k. 
Oh, weird. I jumped. I jumped 5k and lost 5 and lost 5k gradually over like. Five yeah, minutes. there is a little bump here. This looked like somebody. So like, I think that I'm organically gaining viewers now, but I think somebody like, I think at like a 1,000 uh, bot view bot. Like, it's happening again. Viewers. It's happening again. Like a viewership. You were you were at like 5.9 a couple or 5.8 a couple minutes ago. And then you have 6.7 in like literally one minute. Oh, I don't see 6.7. I see 6.1. Hold on. Every no, we're not yet 6.7. Yeah. Oh no, I see 6.1 still. Maybe it bounced again. Steve one just six point seven. It could have been a huge streamer going offline, so you got a lot of random clicks. I'm in the oxygen not included section. No, because see, look, do you see guys? Because there's like a curve where you see me organically gaining viewers, and then this huge bump comes in, but none of them stay, and it's just continuing rising. This looks like bots or something fucked e up with Twitch. Yeah. E even when somebody goes offline, the um, the rate at which you gain them is not that. That's 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 like crazy. Like, yeah, that's yeah, like it's nuts. Unless you're getting like an auto host or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, let, let me see your screen chart. Maybe you can put you put on screen. Let me show you. Well, yeah, everybody else is showing. They see six point eight k. I don't see it on my side. I see six point two. But oh, now I see. Now I see. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Well, it sounds like a good time for commercials. If you guys don't like them, you should have fucking subbed. Get dumpster. Fucking got them. Yeah, look. I'm gonna say something today. Look at this. Like out of the blue, like I literally gained five thousand. Oh, and those are by hour? Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, damn. Looks like you got the juice going, dude. Yeah, but I mean, they, they, they went away, but still, like, yeah. this is kind of stupid. You know, it's like, oh, thank you, viewers. Yo, what's up, guys? Guy, yo, where you guys coming from? How's it going, dude? My name is Six Studio. Yo, huge! Uh, I, I have like welcome you guys here, and by the time you're done, you know they're gone. It's like okay, well, I'm, I'm retired. Damn, feels like a bad sitcom or something. Yeah. This and note this is such an old one. Nathan Towel. What what about Nathan Towel? What? Let's get him up. Oh, 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 sorry, my emotes. Yeah, I was doing that right. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. I, I feel like they've been, uh, there's been, like, some, some weird things happening with your accounts. Uh, last couple days, maybe two or three days. I've had really weird jumps in the past two days. Really? There's been, um, I've talked with a couple different people about, um, some interesting stuff going on with Twitch embeds. A guy named Slasher brought this up to me, that Twitch is like embedding streams in certain sites and people are getting a lot of viewership from it. Yeah, of course, I get that. Uh, I know Slasher. Uh, he was uh, an Overwatch dude. Um, I, I know for a fact that there's, I mean, I'm not going to call them out, but there's like a lot of big sponsored streams and sponsored streamers that were like blatant and manipulated to get the directory back, to, de to get the directory These up. These late joyful streams have been real uh -huh. big that's, juicers. D-A-N-K-M-E-M-E-S. Uh, you get advertiser, pro uh, you get advertiser your, your thing and do a lot of things to, to make, you know, uh, to market your, your whatever. But I think manipulating viewer account isn't a way to market properly your thing because it demarkets everybody else that's competing against you on the directory. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. It's, um, yeah, there's a big conversation about this. This is a very interesting topic, though. Um, it used to be a long time ago. Nobody remembers this anymore, but it used to be a long time ago. Twitch isn't actually where you went to find, um, to find streams. But what, act, what would happen is, um, like you would go to other websites and those websites would index streams. So back yeah, when, like Liquid or whatever. Yeah, back when I first started, if you wanted to make it in streaming, you had to be featured on Team Liquid. That was like the yeah, big thing. Yeah, yeah, I thing. remember that. Yeah. Um, and I remember feeling annoyed that the discovery went away from other sites and all went to Twitch because it made it seem like Twitch was the only site you could stream on. Back then, you could be streaming on any site. As long as you were featured on Team Liquid, you were going to get viewers. But now it doesn't matter where your site gets featured. You want to be streaming on Twitch. So it's interesting to think about it changing again. I don't know how I feel about that, but yeah. Um, some games don't have a lot of streamers that uh, have like that many viewers. So 
it's like at the same time it's like a, like educational for people that want to be streamers or whatever mm -hmm. if you're growing or you want to you make it in a certain directory that it's kind of hard to grind such as any game like league of legends uh overwatch rainbow six any game that has like an actual player base mm -hmm. if you're actually good or whatever and you want to like gain growth it would be, it'd be the sign up to all these trash ass piece of shit websites make an account link your twitch right and just make an account and like just be there on all these sites and shit and sometimes these small one or two viewers that you're getting out of the, all these small things and all these embedded viewers like like Disney said, I have all these embedded shit. Embedded's are fucking retarded. But they're a thing and nobody has them. Embedded's are they're I guess needed in the ecosystem. Right? Mm -hmm. Once you stack all those things, you post on Facebook or some shit, you get maybe two viewers there, one viewer there, boom, maybe you have like twenty fake viewers. You're higher on the directory. Now you're pulling more viewers because you're higher than other competitors, right? Yeah. And these small things add up so much that, you know, with a bunch of nothings, you have less of a nothing. Yeah, you just got to be careful because, um... Or no, I mean, um, oh, people have to remember sometimes that it's still like content is king at the end of the day. And if you don't have Oh, it, I mean, oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, you're going to be fucked no matter what. Yeah, if your content sucks fucking balls, dude, you're not going to make it. Come on, bro. Yeah. I'm not suggesting it. People still care about you but because you used to play StarCraft and they feel bad for you because you don't have viewers, so they just turn your fucking computer off and they watch your shit on the UFK. So they have more viewers and you feel better about yourself. Wait, do what? Say that again? Oh, that's right. Wait, wait, no, wait. What, what did you say? say or I didn't understand. <laughs> no, I, I just mumbled a bunch of words. I'm sure nobody, I'm sure nobody understood that. <laughs> Does anybody know what the I, fuck he just said? I didn't yeah, get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I was just trying, I was just saying. Yeah. Unless you're, unless you're Destiny, you build a following with uh with StarCraft and then and then people don't give a fuck anymore. And then and then they see your low viewer count, so they put the, themselves AFK in your chat, so you have one more extra viewer. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, makes, you, you. makes you feel better about yourself. Huh? Yeah, I got you, okay. Why the fuck is this water so hot, guys? Water has temperature in the game. And the water that I get. Is it because this water is hot? Yeah, fuck. Is it because of the sieve? Is water coming out of the sieve really hot? Oh, I bet this water comes out at 40 degrees, doesn't it? Hmm. Ask him about condensation. Uh, I know about it now. I mean, it's just like a, I knew the concept, I think, but it was from so far away that I don't remember the word for it. Yeah. Do the meme? Oh, no, I'm not gonna do the meme. Dude. Yeah, I, me I remember the Team Liquid days. The D's are but fucking combat X dog shit. <laughs> Wait, did you watch my stream back then or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so I weird. You must have been like fucking what, like 13 or 14 years old? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would get my computer in my hands, go on the metro, and go compete downtown. Damn. In StarCraft, yeah. You'd go compete? Yeah, my computer in my hands. With a computer, like a laptop? No, my tower. Oh, like you'd carry your computer to like lands and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 gotcha. Did you play like a lot of StarCraft or? Yeah, I was like I told you last time, like I, I was mastering. Oh, season yeah, you one. did when you played Terran, I remember. Yeah, in season one or Diamond, it, I think. It, right. dude. And a lot of fucking normies. I'm sure you have some of those in your chat. Some deluded piece of fucking retard, dude. Like, oh, dude, season one, there was no master. Yeah, they implemented it at the end of the first season. And there's a season one master achievement. It's a thing, you fucking idiot. Wake up. Damn. You took him out, dude. You got him. Seriously. This, this guy saying, no, no, it wasn't. You're banned, dude. I'm actually banning you. <laughs> hey, 
And then I sort of fell behind. Uh, I think I was because I was playing like all these other games and shit. Because League League was free at the time, mm -hmm. and the ads had like misfortune on it. I thought it looked stupid, so I wanted to play it. Mm -hmm. So I was playing it. So I didn't have enough time for Starcraft. I, I still played a lot. I still watch the stream actually a lot, just because. And I, I actually watch Husky when you're online, like Husky and shit, and like uh, HD Starcraft on YouTube and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I remember those guys. Yeah. My Friday nights, I would go. I could come back from school, put up the computer, right, play some games, play some Starcraft all day. And when I would get tired, I would uh, walk out of my house at like 11 or something at night. I would run to the corner straw mound, right? I would pick up a bunch of fucking candies, a bunch of, uh, you know, like nerds and shit and, and Coke. And I would run back to my house and I would watch Husky or HD Starcraft. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, HD, Husky Starcraft, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. Now Damn. these were the fucking days. You, did you? I can't believe that. Like, do you remember HD Starcraft? Yeah, of course. What I just said, yeah, HD Starcraft. Yeah, that guy had a massive YouTube channel. Yeah, but like, it, it he had um, three hundred thousand subs like ten years ago, and he had one bad MLG and fucking disappeared from the internet because he got so much hate for it. <laughs> Yeah, but he was making videos though. He wasn't like that much of a computer. Like, no, no, no. I know, but I'm just saying that like he had a big YouTube channel. He was making a lot of money, and he got so yeah, much I know, hate exactly. from that one tourney that he just fucking bounced. It's yeah, but he was making good videos though. I don't know why he just didn't just didn't make videos and just don't give a fuck about playing the game. Um. Well, I mean, that's because that's what some people did, right? With StarCraft, you could be like a commentator and not like a. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, where the fuck am I supposed to get fucking iron at? If, there's, if I don't see your copper, if I don't see it in the map. Mm. Yeah, all the Idra shit. The, the Grakalakin or whatever. Mm -hmm. The Graken. The Graken. Poop, feast, poop Feast 420. Artosis memes. Yeah, at the... Uh... Yeah. Gum TV. Yeah. Remember when uh <laughs> when MMA killed his own command center <laughs> and the, and Edger was winning for free and he just left. Yeah, and he peaced out. Yeah. Oh, this is Iron Ore here. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> there were some good ass memes. It was funny when he tried to justify it after he was like, Yeah, whatever, dude. I fucking I was just I knew I knew that I could win, but I was so mad that he was still in the game that I just left anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it was a hallucination. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, man. Andrew was so fucking funny, dude. If I could you imagine having some of those people like playing like League of Legends professionally, or even like Overwatch, <laughs> like any team game would be so fucking funny. Holy shit! Yeah, these people would lose. <laughs> they would lose their fucking minds. Imagine being so upset about your opponent still being in the game that you're gonna lose yourself. Imagine if you have your, your teammates with you in that game, yeah. and you want to make them lose on purpose. <laughs> That was always the thing that got me, um, that, like, I fucking hated about, I think we've talked about this before, that I fucking hated about League of Legends, was that, like, I could have people on my team that legitimately don't want to win the game, like, yeah. and they're on my team, and I have to, like, fight them, and it's so fucking irritating. Yeah, but also it's, like, sometimes the, they don't want to let themselves win. Sometimes they're, sometimes they're losing their lanes, but they're so stupid, and right, like, such bitches, that you're like, dude... No, I'm not gonna give you your win, dude. I, I'm I'm on a good run. This rating, I can get it back on my own. I'm good enough. You're not. You're gonna get the fuck down, and you're gonna tank that loss. I'm 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 losing for you, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, that you do that to other people, or people do that to you? Yeah, at some point, I have I have I have seven band accounts, dude. I do that all the fucking time. <laughs> okay. On Overwatch? No, on League of Legends. I have seven band accounts. Oh, holy shit! Wait, what league did you get up to in League? Uh, I'm in mid masters. What the fuck? Oh shit! Have you ever streamed it? Yeah, I streamed it. At some point, I just became like a new one trick because I was kind of done with the fucking game. What yes. um? Wait, what uh? What account did you or what uh? Role did you play? Uh, I play almost every role, mostly the carry though. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I would snap Tyler and I would just uh, play new bot and I'd go. Yeah. Damn, dude! Fucking watching you rage at league would probably be really fucking funny for a day or two. Yeah. 
That was funny as shit. These were the fucking days. Not seriously though, like, it, when you have when you have like so many bad accounts and so much experience with the game, like at some point you're just playing a game and that that fucker dude, he's ungrate. Not only did he not lose his game, he's even going further and losing everybody else's lane. But I'm still carrying you, and he's still acting like a piece of shit. Well, you know, what, dude, you're not winning, dude. <laughs> yeah, I might be banned, sure, dude. Well, you're not winning that game. I'll tell you that much. You're not winning, buddy. I feel like I've only done that. I feel like there've been like only two or three games where I've actually done that. But yeah, I usually just want to win. Fuck, <laughs> that's pretty funny though. You ever, you know, the people that like play, who are like, the people that play, but they don't want to win if they're not the reason why you're winning. Of course. So you get like it's, the people it's top Riven lane. Syndrome. Uh, yeah. I call it the Riven Syndrome. The Riven Syndrome? Okay, yeah. I'm going to say top lane because it's usually top laners that do this. It's like Jax yeah, players, Riven players, Yasuo players, where like if they're going like, they could be going like one and three, but like the score overall is like 15 to four and it, like literally everyone else is carrying art and they're like, I don't give a fuck. And they're just like trolling and everything the whole game because they're mad that they're yeah. not getting fed. You lose because of that one person. Yeah, holy yeah, shit. Yes, so, so I dug into that because I want to know why, and there's a, there's an actual psychology, uh, I think, whatever, concept around that. Not not really a concept, just a, a thought pattern. It's because these characters, like like Riven, Vayne, Lee Sin, Yasuo, have so, much yeah. Yeah, have so much potential to go hardcore, that when they don't reach that potential, it's like um, all they see is that all these things they could do to carry and go hard mm -hmm. and they're just dying they're like no dude like they can't settle just play probably and win they have to reach that potential does that make sense yeah yeah they're kind of like and, high, it's like a feast or famine or high risk high yeah, reward yeah. champions yeah but that's like it would be like like a mental feast or famine like, like i'm gonna try again oh 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 i'm over three ah that sucks me i'm gonna do back up top and try again one on me die again oh you know what dude fine i'm going all in he doesn't need summoners gets ganked, you know, because it doesn't work. He's emotional about the fucking like, lost death that he just got, right? Mm -hmm. It's like it's like a never-ending pattern of just dying, 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 and and then at that, at that point, it's like, oh, oh, did he, he get on me to stop feeding? Fuck you guys, man! And then he just goes bot in your own lane and he just feeds your lane, like dude, can you stop? It goes mid and, and then it goes in the jungle, steals the jungle out of the fucking your jungle. It's like, dude, are you serious, man? Yeah, it's pretty fucking memes. It, they should never stop snow. Like they, they never stop. Never stop what? Once, once they have that pattern uh, in their head of like, hey, I'm gonna do this this game. You can't stop them. It's, it's over. You lost. Oh yeah. You, you can't resonate with them. No. Jungle is the hardest role on your mentality. Yeah, because your laners are fucking retarded and they never war and they get ganked and it's like, hey guys, I'm getting damn, I'm getting no ganks. Yeah, because you don't fucking war, so I can't do it securely and you're getting game because you're not warning yourself, you fucking retard. What did you play jungle? Like any whatever was meta or whatever? Or did you have like one trick chance? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I played the Lee meta, I played the fucking Maokai meta, I played the the, the Skarner meta, which other bands over to jungle. Mm -hmm. The Jarvan one, that one was pretty fun. I played when I was AD. I did the the Lucian one, the Callista one, the Corky one. The Corky one was pretty fun, but it was it was pretty crazy though. It's, the damage was crazy when Corky got meta. I I did not play the mid meta. Nidalee, I I hate it. I hate Nidalee. Why? Her gameplay is just not fun for me. Like to play against or to play? As. Oh. Yeah, there used to be, um, I guess I remember a long time ago, multiple seasons ago, um, she was really, really good because her spears were so stupid. It was like, as an AD, you're losing like 80% of your life if you get hit by one. But then they ended up nerfing that, and it always seemed like the new Nulu was just really bad. I don't know. Yeah, but also, that wasn't the only problem. The problem was that a lot of a lot of maps, a lot of the map was curved. The middle lane was curved, and the entries to the, jungle, uh, the, to, to the rivers were, were curved on the map. And you could throw spears under oh. the map, and you could never see them. It's because the terrain was uneven or whatever? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was just fucking, that was so boring. It's just retarded mechanic. Yeah. I'm sure some people remember that when when they could literally like throw up spears from like bottom bush mid, and you could you can see them literally they were like under the map. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happened. Um, 
It happens with like Ezreal spells and shit too. Sometimes with his alt, sometimes he'd throw an alt, you wouldn't even see it, and you would just die to it. Dumb shit. It was a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Never play against Beaches in Italy. Yeah. Yeah, Beaches in Overwatch League now. Yeah, Beach, I remember that, dude. So annoying. I actually used to play Nidalee, but I, I would play uh, top. Top, like, tanky AD when she was mid at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, she was a very good top. She was pretty fun. We're going to net me now. Uh, we're going to give you, like, one minute or one and a half. If you're not in the raid by then, we're just going to go with the summer. Yeah, what the fuck? Get the fuck on there! Are you fucking kidding me, man? <laughs> You ever play WoW Classic? Yeah. What why, why did he die there? I don't know. I don't know. I'm supposed to float there? <laughs> yeah, I play WoW Classic. Molten Core right there. What the fuck? They're all, they're all attuned and trying to get to the bottom, right? Huh? Why did he die? Some fucking glitch. <laughs> Damn. That dude is super mad. I I think Boogie should just click over from that and just make make videos. No, it works because after people bully him for his stupid opinions, he'll cry that he's suicidal, and then people will feel bad for it, and he'll go back and do it again. He does this shit a lot. It's a real dumb. Yeah, that's like people who farm Peppa Hands on Twitch. Uh, I, I don't like it. Doing people that what? People that farm, people that farm Peppa Hands. Oh, farm Peppa Hands. <laughs> okay. XQC mom snake. Uh oh, what's this? No, 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 this is this is this is don't do this is like. Oh my god, I'm not fun. <laughs> I'm 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 muting. I'm muting. Um um. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm actually muting. <laughs> Wait, why did she do that? Oh, is it because she, so you she so you people don't see her on the camera? Yeah. It's so cute. She doesn't want her son to be. She doesn't want to make, look him make him look uncool in front of all his little friends. Oh. Wait, does your dad do it too? What is this? Hold on. Yeah, dude, today was a fucking charade, dude. I can't believe it. Viewers that Reckville abandoned him on his birthday. I'm on streamer. I mean, you can you can stay if you want. Wait, do you people wear clothes like this normally? Was viewers that Reckville. What's he wearing on his neck? Wait, he reminds me of that. Um. He reminds me of this guy. I hate this, like, he does, like, outdoor, like, biking and shit. So he's probably, like, wearing, like, a, like, an inside scarf. What's the name of that one song where they say, blah, 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 blah. What am I thinking of? No, there's, um... Oh, God. Uh, Vitas? Yeah. Wait, is this the, the main video? Hold on. Oh, it's yeah, this. This one. is what I'm looking for. This thing around his neck. Your dad's like wearing this outfit, kind of. <laughs> I didn't know people like wore stuff like that, like really. Nah, I think he does like biking. It's like a, it's like an inside scarf, like I said. It's like something you put like under. Yeah? Yeah. Something like that. Are you like, um, are you just like visiting your parents? Like, um... You're not normally at their house, right? No, I'm waiting for my visa. Okay, okay. Do you are you and then you're coming back to live in the US or? Yeah, I, I might go close to soda. Oh, that's cute. It's in Austin, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually gonna announce uh, who I'm signing with soon. You're gonna announce what soon? Who I'm signing with? Because I, I need to get a visa. So who you're signing with, like a team? Yeah, I have to. Because otherwise I can get a visa, right? They won't give you a visa just for being a streamer or whatever? No, I have to get P1A. Damn.
That's some Pepe hands. <laughs> Why the fuck am I? Oh, because I've got more people. I don't think, I don't think you guys can predict what it's going to be. It's pretty, uh, pretty big, but odd. Unexpectable. Like a simulator? Who knows? Uh, yeah, I'm playing like a thrash. That was that. That, that was kind of that's kind of mean. I literally answered that on your stream. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll well, I was, I was, I was, I was, yeah, I was reading your chat like I was reading mine. Oh yeah, no. I'm sure <laughs> I there, was there are probably people here that are your fans anyway. It's not good. Are you excited to? Is this gonna be your first time like living in the U.S. or? No, I lived there. I lived there for an entire year. Gotcha. It was the disaster after the, after the disaster. It was like uh. When the all the shit went down or whatever. Yeah, but then, it's like, I moved in on my own, right? Mm -hmm. And I left everything that I had, like. Not only people, but all my items and shit. I had nothing here. When they kicked me out, I had to get out of the fucking apartment in a couple weeks oh, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then I had nowhere to go. And I know what to do. So I went to some people's fucking uh, living room. And I, I liked the place they were at. So then I rented an apartment there and where they lived. And it was expensive as Fuck, it was so expensive. I felt bad that I was using sub money or whatever, or money that I made uh, with with like, spending money on that piece of shit apartment. It wasn't it wasn't that. It wasn't that. Wait, expensive. where is it? Like what city or? It was in Glendale. Oh shit, that's where I'm moving. Oh fuck. Damn. And, and my neighbors just they just they would like raid my house. They would fucking bang the door. They they would have actually very very loud sex at night. It's so loud that I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Like they did they call they call the cops on me, right, for a playthrough. I did like a story game playthrough. Right? I didn't even touch the desk. I didn't even touch it because I was using a controller. Mm -hmm. And they said that was banging the doors. They said that was like banging on the wall and I was slamming and I was like Dude, I didn't do that. And they called the cops on me with that, right? Mm -hmm. And then was like Oh, dude, seven M, dude, fuck me in the ass. Ah! Like, what the fuck, man? Damn. When me and um, this is kind of random, kind of related. Uh, the last hotel that me and Bella were at, when we were leaving one of the nights, we could hear people fucking, on the uh, across the hall, and it was kind of um, it was kind of weird, because this guy <laughs> was like moaning like really loud. And you, you could tell he was, like, really into it. And, um, you know, he's like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, you like that, don't you? You like that. And he's like, yeah, like, fuck me, fuck me. And then we heard the other guy moan. <laughs> it was just very, it was very strange. Holy, what? <laughs> it was a twist. It was a guy saying it, so we thought that, yeah, but it ended up being two dudes. Well, when did that happen? Um, basically, it was two dudes fucking very loudly. We didn't plan on it being two dudes, but it was a beautiful story. Some gachi, yeah. Chet's one, Chet's one trick catching right now. Take it, boy. Gay sex is strange. Well, I mean, it kind of is. I mean, I don't hear as many people having gay sex as they do having straight sex. Although I'm going to California, so it'll probably be <laughs> a lot more common than I'll hear about it, I guess, right? Why, 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 why are you even going here anyway? Um, cause, um, just cause I've got, there are more people that I care about in California and that can help me. Like uh, the only reason I live in Nebraska is cause I've got a kid here. Um, 
and I didn't want to leave, but now I figure that like he's old enough. I was always gonna wait till like, like he was old enough. I feel like to kind of understand. Like I didn't like leaving earlier. Like if I can't talk to him, it feels weird. But now I can still like play games with him and stuff. So I figure it's okay. And then like everybody that I know like career wise exists in LA. So like I get nothing from being in this state. Like it just is. It fucking kills me to be here. Wait, twelve hundred. Wait, is this always gonna be overloaded, guys? What the fuck? Wait, how are you supposed to do this? Sorry, what? Wait, wait, wait. So who, who, who do you care about in LA? Um, I mean, I've kind of sort of got a girlfriend, and then I've got like um a whole bunch of YouTubers that I'm friends with now. Um, like all, everybody from the offline TV house are all like really big people. Um, so like, do you know who like Pokemon is and like Lily Pichu and all those people? Yeah, they're, they're yeah. All, I think they're all friends Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm fairly close to a lot of those people, or at least I'd like to be when Lily's not evading me. So, um, yeah. Wait, well, like, the the, the kind of girlfriend, but do you love her? That's we're not getting into that on stream. Sorry. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, e even if it wasn't for her though, I'd be. I've been talking about making this move for a long time. Like it's pretty important, I think, career wise. There's just so much more to do in LA, um, and there's so much more activity there that um, it doesn't make sense for me to live here. It's just, this has always been like really bad for my career. Hmm. Interesting. Damn. I well, get, you don't really go out much though, I guess, so it doesn't, you don't really think about it? Well, for, it's more for IRL shit. Like I'm probably gonna do some IRL shit before leaving here. Like I, I wanna do like, like, like a fucking, like a going around some place in, with snow, like stream, like some skating streams, like shit like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm gonna dip, right? Sure. And pe people speak French here, so it's like it's not that good content. Like, yeah, I could, you know, like Jake is in Japan, but if I make IRLs, I want the bar to be really fucking high, right? Because I, I don't do IRLs very often, so when I do that, I want the bar to be fucking high, high shit. I want people to tune into some pog shit, that's some fucking sleeper garbage. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, I wouldn't want to like overdo IRL streams in, in French places. I, I, I want to go back to the US. And, um, I mean, there is good content or good stuff to do in, in LA, right? Mm -hmm. But it's very expensive, though. Gotcha. I mean, I mean did you factor all that in? Like, the, the fucking, uh, average cost of living oh yeah yeah and tax is gonna be a lot worse but like it's whatever it's worth it for the opportunities plus i live like i live way 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 below my means anyway like i save most of my money and everything see i, sp I spent like 300 300 dollars a month i think mm -hmm. on right now on rent or for your, for your parents uh i think total damn okay must be nice you don't have a car or anything i'm guessing no I wear, I wear the same t-shirt like six days in a row, so now seven. Jesus. Guys, how am I supposed to power this? What the fuck am I supposed to do? My line is overloaded. How am I supposed to ever do this? The thing that I realized with the internet is that the things that smell and the things that uh, are weird to touch, people can't really see that through the screen. Things that smell are weird to touch. Wait, what? Yeah, like if I smell like fucking like raw onions and shit, people can't smell it through the monitor, right? Like on camera, on stream, whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I only smell it, so it's like, fuck it, dude. Like, I don't give a fuck. Oh, fuck. I can't do that. That's why I can't live with streamers. You guys are fucking degenerates. <laughs> yeah, you know, I noticed that did, I drink so much Coke, like I just kind of like fart a little bit. And I always keep, I always keep my room like really hot. And I kind of like, I kind of like hotbox myself. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> okay. It's called the Dutch oven. Someone says. Cartesian. I know what you're saying, and that's what I've done. But I can't. I need like big. I need big things for this. Yeah, why? What's up? Um, they can't see you. You're fine.
Do you do all of your own uh, like tax shit or whatever? Do you have like an account for that or how does that work? <laughs> what? You don't have- are you totally fucked on all that shit? Uh oh. Wait, are you like super fucked or? Uh, I was kinda late on it. You what? I, forgot, I was kinda late on it. I forgot it was a thing. Are you um, it's it's good now. It's, I think it's catching up. It's catching up. Okay. Nobody audited the deal. I, I I didn't get like an email or whatever or a letter. Yeah, I'm I'm still kind of fine. Okay. It's uh it's a lot to deal with. <laughs> That's for sure. If I like combine the biomes, guys, am I gonna fuck them up or? Nah, it's not it's not into a felony. Like, um, I the. I called the bank and said they said I was fine or whatever, and I actually I didn't call my mom called because I, I didn't want to call myself. <laughs> you know, and then that social they said, anxiety. They said come at this time, and I said, oh, it'd be nice if you guys could come. So then one of the bankers drove home, and then I think I'm getting that out of the way. Was this like I don't know how new you are in terms of being like pretty big? Like, is this um is this like your first year earning a lot of money? Like this most recent year? Uh, yeah, but I didn't have access to my bank account for the longest time. Wait, why is that? Did your parents have it or something, or? Nah, I forgot my password uh, to my bank when I was in the U.S. I was on the team, and I was just, like, uh, getting paid to, like, an American bank, so I never, like, bothered, like, logging in <laughs> and shit. So you just have a bunch of money just sitting in the account, or? Yeah, it was kind of special, but... <laughs> It was all it was all going home. Okay. I gotta figure it out after a while though. Some people are like, uh dude, you're trolling they you like like it's fake, you're just trolling, but um I can reset it because I need info that I didn't have. Mm-hmm. But it's not, it's not like it was being like that stupid because my team made me, made me open a bank, a bank in America, in America, and they were paying me through that. So I, had, I was good to live like, dude, like what, what do I have to spend money on? Like I, my team was paying for most of the housing and stuff like that. No. And most of the food, so I had like nothing. I just spent money on like, uh, dude, I actually, I didn't have even, I didn't have furniture for a whole year. I had a mattress and that's it. <laughs> nice. There's one time I tried to cook, and I cooked once in the six months I was there in my first apartment. At month two, I think I cooked or something like that, and I just let it there for like two months in the sink, like it was like noodles. Mm -hmm. And I, I was so, I was so embarrassed that I let it there. That I put like a, a garbage bag, like like a like a gazebo over it, right? Okay. And then. At some point, they called the cleaners, and what I did is that I woke up earlier than them before they came in because I didn't want to see them. I didn't want to see that like that I was like a digit, and I just left the place. <laughs> what well, yeah. you? are like hardcore social anxiety, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, and I waited two hours. Uh, I slept like um, on some chair outside, like on the street. I waited two hours, and I went back in, and it was all fixed. Nice job. Hell yeah. Do you get like really nervous when you watch like Chance when he has like clips and like cleaners and shit are coming in and he's like fucking doing like some really dumbass shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that's kind of scary. Yeah, that's not that bad. It's just more of what, like whenever I have something that I don't like, like a like a situation. If it's just like if I'm feeling fine and there's another person, that's fine. But yeah, they fixed the whole place up at some point. There's also this, um, I didn't have a table to eat. And my desk would be too cluttered with garbage. So I would I would eat Taco Bell in the bathtub and just leave it there. God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I 
These are the golden days, boys. Is that what you call it? Days. <laughs> I wish I was making that shit up. And there's actually way worse. My apartment, uh, there was Cheerios all over the floor, and I had half of a half of a half of a fucking Chipotle chicken bowl that was sitting on my motherboard and was just heating there for like months. Uh huh. Because I had no case. Right. And then uh, part of my motherboard, part of my motherboard burned because a piece of chicken was in the context of some shit. It was crazy, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. Dude, my routine was like. I'd, I'd try to wake up at 7. I would go downstairs every day and then my apartment complex. I'd buy two Cokes. I would get two Cliff Bars. I'd eat both Cliff Bars and I'd drink one and a half Cokes or whatever and I would stream in the morning for four hours. Then I would rush to practice, which was like 50 minutes away. I'd practice for nine hours or whatever, come back, stream into the floor, and try to rush to bed, right? Why? Well, before I would end my before I, what? What do you mean? Why rush to bed? What do you mean? To have just enough sleep so I could stream in the morning again. Oh. I would try to. I I'm not going to do. Ash ate Taco Bell like six times a week for like, well, how many months? Like five months. It was crazy. <laughs> Jesus. Taco Bell, because I went online at Taco Bell was a bad fast food, but it wasn't the worst compared to other ones, right? Mm -hmm. Is it worse than the competitors? No, uh, for health wise, it wasn't the worst. Oh, it wasn't the worst. Oh no, yeah, actually, Taco Bell is okay. Yeah, so that's why I, I all in all my chips on on Taco Bell instead of like a Jack in the Box that was close, but not sponsored. I, I didn't really go there that much. I, I, yeah, Expo is fuck you guys. Is this is this true? Smelly monkey. <laughs> And the next day came in and he was called Fresh Felix. What was that? What are you watching, dude? <laughs> XQG. People complaining about you. <laughs> Shut up to scrims. You smelled bad. No, no that's a big post, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not here to judge, man. Good. Yeah, some of the lifestyle there was like complete degeneracy, though. Tell me about what? Some of the lifestyle at my first apartment or whatever was oh. like pure degeneracy. Sure. But I liked it though, because like it was like my first experience like living on my own and mm -hmm. being outside the country. But both together at the same time. Sure. Yeah, I mean that's always a fun first experience. Especially doing it out of the country is probably a lot different than what most people would be experiencing, so Yeah. There comes a there comes a level of stress, right? When you're like uh when you have your own place on your own. Mm -hmm. But then there comes additional stress when you're outside the country, but combined you sort of give up because it's too much. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, ah fuck it dude. I should move all of this, guys. This production. I should just move this into here, shouldn't I? This would make so much more sense. Why is it so hot? Um, because this water is super fucking hot. Professional Overwatch players. XQC's P. Oh, you already showed me this. <laughs> <sighs> that was so smart. No, oh, fuck it, dude. It worked, right? It worked well. It worked really well. 
in the Coke bottle was just so um the metal or whatever, the plastic of the the cooler wouldn't touch the wouldn't touch the ground so it wouldn't like heat up. Mm -hmm. How did I start it? So the way you start it is that your so motherboards have two dots, and what your case does that it, it it connects both dots at the same at the same time when you press start. Okay, right? so you have to yeah you, you have to jump it with the pins, and you have to put a metal piece that touches both one at the same time. So I I like power jumped it or whatever you call that. In order to turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you guys knew that. Can I? If I dig and I connect these biomes, will the temperatures bleed over? Like, will this no? Will this lose all of its coldness, guys? Or will it still be cold, but it'll just be a little bit less cold right here? I'm worried about digging through this. That's it's not like a it's not like a jump it's not like a jump start. So your PC case normally the button that starts it is like a round a button. When you click it, it only has a metal pin that, that connects both pins on your motherboard. And since I didn't have a case, I would have to emulate that with something else. People yeah, exactly. Can Shorten the pin. You can destroy cold biome. Okay, thanks guys. I want to make a carbon skimmer, but I need to fucking. I need so much liquid. Oh. Uh, do you get do you do that sometimes where like some stories are too too far away uh, they happen in the past and you don't really pay attention that much to like real life elements or whatever and sometimes that you're like you have these stories that you, that you tell and you like you miss like you you fuck up some details or whatever or you like miss a part or something like that's important to the story or whatever do you have that sometimes yeah of course yeah yeah I mean, I I mean, I embellish my stories anyway, though. So yeah, I, I, I do that as well. But <laughs> if anybody in real life knew me, people, I'd get called out. They'd be like, oh, I don't think it happened exactly. But yeah, you better believe I ham that shit up. Of course. But at the end of the day. Even if it's embellished, a good story is a good story, right? Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter how real it is, right? As long as it's entertaining, because it's not like anybody's ever going to know. Yeah. As long as you're not going, like, crazy. <laughs> Where the fuck is all this disgusting water coming from? Is it? It's not. Do the algae terrariums make this sick water? I forget. Hello, Steven. I've been leeching off your YouTube debates and Dude. always fail to subscribe. Your feels okay. Man. With Twitch like Prime, jam. so I puppy a juicy T2 sub, and this ten dollars would agree? make up that for it. Okay, man. Uh, Sorry for being a leech. Please like forgive me. Thanks, buddy.
How do you compare this game to RimWorld? Um, I don't know. This is a fun-ass game. Or, I mean, this game is pretty comparable. <coughs> you know, anybody in chat that wears um, basketball shorts, but wears them like a lot of days in a row, and even though you buy like a lot of them, or you have like a bunch of like different clothing, it, there's this one weird smell that has it, but it's not like that disgusting. It's like a weird, like, um, smells like concrete or something. Like, am I, am I crazy? I see they're saying yes. And I can't, put, I can't put my finger on what it is. I think it's maybe like stacked sweat or something like that. Spack sweat? No, stacked. Oh. Not like when it's stacked or something. Maybe, I don't know. Oh my god. What? It's ball sweat. I mean, yeah, it's kind of what it sounds like. <laughs> but I mean, hey man, you live your life. Nah, but it, it doesn't have like this, um... That's what <laughs> I, I love basketball shorts. Basketball shorts, no socks, t-shirt. That used to be my uh, outfit all the time. What do you wear now? Um, I try to wear like real clothes, I guess. When you move out, you're gonna get a carpet floor? Get a carpet? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like a carpet floor. Oh, like have my floor be carpeted? Um, I think the upstairs is where I'm going, but the main room I don't think is. No. Oh, okay. Why? Is this something you think about a lot? or? Yeah. Having a carpeted floor? Why? Makes me feel at home. Interesting. I feel like carpet is disgusting. It just gets dirty and it's hard to clean, no? Yeah. But I guess True. depending on, the, I mean, depending on the kind of first year, a carpet, like wood floors or hard floors could feel, yeah, I guess kind of unwelcoming. Well, it's echoey. Mm -hmm. It reflects light. It's hard on your on your toes if you fall. If you want to just sit, if you don't feel too good and you can't just like sit on your back on like the the whole water, the hard floor, it's not gonna feel too good. If you fall asleep on the floor, it's gonna be pretty hard on your back and shit like that. But the, the carpet, it's like kind of relaxing if you fall like uh, on your back and shit. Okay. Oh yeah, this has to be fucking watered. Yeah, I've I've never had I've only had carpet when I was like really young and I never had any any ever 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 carpet and then when I moved on my first apartment on my own, I mm -hmm. had a carpet and it was the fucking bomb. There's less echo. It's better for your toes because you feel like you're like in the grass. You know when your toes are like slipping through glass and like grass so like strings? Same thing you know you just does that make sense? Sure. You get her toes sort of slip through the like like the um, the carpet. It feels it just feels cozy. Yeah, I mean uh, obviously people agree with you, that's why carpet exists, right? People like yeah. the way it looks and feels. It's warmer technically too, right, when you wake up. Yeah, but not long that it gets dirty though. And I, I don't even want to know like what's inside of it. It's probably like fucking terrible because they never lift it up and shit like that, right? Yeah, it's pretty gross. I guess if I if I had to put money on one place, if I got a place, mm -hmm. I'd have the carpet redone just for me. And I'd have my spot where I have my computer. And it'd be a square that is entirely detached from the main square of the room. So if I get left with my stuff and I drip shit and I, I drop coconut like that, I can just lift that square and just replace it indefinitely without removing the whole carpet of the whole room. Does that make sense? So like carpet that, like a rug? Can you just get like a rug? Nah, this, uh, not really. 
That's not very, uh, it's not cozy. Okay. Not because, because echo. Because the echo of the room. Floors out of wood make a lot of echo. Rugs don't echo. They soak in the sound because all the fibers of the um, the carpet would redirect the sound in different ways and it wouldn't rebound off of the walls. It would absorb it. More than anything. Wait, what are you talking about right now? I'm saying carpets would help with canceling echo in the room. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. They absorb sound, yeah. So, what I would do before starting my stream in the morning is that I would actually lift up my mattress behind me. My only piece of furniture, I would, I would lift the mattress up to the wall, right? And with the rug and the mattress behind me, it's crazy how much there was no no, no um, echo at all. Are you like yeah, super everyone... like does noise like bother you a lot or? Yeah, cause my, my my mic my mic setup sucks balls, and I don't want to have a mic that picks up my fucking mouth. I want to speak in the mic like you. You look like a fucking dick. Oh wait, why not just get a better microphone? Cause you have to put them in front of your face. Oh, and you don't like that that idea? No. I move a lot. I don't want to wiggle my arm like someone's spoon feeding me some fucking juice. Pudding. Yeah, juice. Am I ruining this biome, guys? With this little bit of shit? Is that really all it took to do it? Nah, I don't think days off. I don't. I don't think streamers feel very uh, are too fond of days off either. Why do you think that is? A lot of people are really worried about like losing their audience. I noticed you said that earlier too. Nah, it it depends, but for me it's not like that that much. I don't think, cause I never took days off for like ever, mm -hmm. and then I was forced to take like two or four days off. Right? And then I noticed that my viewers was the same or more. So it was like, you know, it's, there's no difference, right? But I feel like it's like, like I felt I felt bad for taking a day off, even though it was justified and getting reward for it. So I was like, eh. But at the same time, one of the main reasons why I didn't take this off is because when you go to your Twitch dashboard right back in the days, uh, a couple months ago, I think it's still there probably, right? Okay. You can see your calendar, right? Oh, it's still there. In your analytics, you can see all you, you can see your calendar. Yeah. And on your calendar, there's a piece of pink that appears for every day you stream, and it goes pinker and pinker if you stream more on that day. But every month that I would have would be full, full pink, and the off would be full purple. Mm -hmm. And I fucking hated to see my my month having purple in it. So I would note no days off, and I'd, I'd see just that full pink calendar. Gotcha.
Somebody said you're letting the purple define you. Do you think that's true? <laughs> Maybe. What do you think you're going to do after streaming? And how much longer do you want to continue to stream? I don't think I'll live very long. You don't think what? I don't think I'll live very long. What do you mean live very long? I mean, just... <laughs> it's not like a dog. I don't think I don't think saying shit like that. I'm not saying that it could be itch or whatever. I just I just don't think it's it's like bad to shit like that. I drink like so much coke, dude. I don't exercise that much, but but I like. I like um, what I do, whatever. I don't think I can balance it without like getting worried. So it's like, uh, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm living in the moment, voice. Damn. So you don't have any nope. plans like five years from now or whatever? You're just kind of just winging it? Yeah. I th I think I think last time I had to I had to answer that is that like the um, like the tax people were like, "What are you? What do you see something five years?" I said, "I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude." Mm -hmm. Where where are you gonna be in five years, dude? Like seriously, dude? I'll still be streaming. I like streaming. No, I was, I was talking to the tax guy, but oh. he also yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy this. This makes me really happy, and I find it fit really fulfilling. So. It is fulfilling. Do you think Twitch will have the monopoly for five years? Um, I don't know. I don't really have a plan. I don't really have a plan B though. I don't think. Like, if I was to get banned overnight, eh, dude. I'd probably if I can just all in all the thing on on black or red, so for the best. What does all inning on black or red mean for you? Uh, I go to the European roulette with only one green, and you can go fucking all in. Well, like you would literally go to the casino and do that. <laughs> yeah, if I can slide that shit all in. What do you do if you lose at that point? <laughs> all these questions, I don't think that far ahead. Did all these shit. Okay. Hey Destiny, what do you think of Luna? Are they truly the Evangelion of K-pop? I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't watch K-pop, but thank you for the money. <laughs> Just the Russian roulette. <laughs> no, like, I'm kind of like being like, like, a little like a satire right now. What is that? How do you say it? S satire? Cynical? Say tire. <laughs> dude, I'm butchering this fucking word, dude. I am butchering it. Satirical, or I mean, I know satire. I don't know if this counts as satirical or not. But can you ask him about that? Hold on. Yeah, satirical. Yeah. I mean, I gotta click it once. I guess I'm getting like uh. It's not out, Greek. Maybe it's low on battery. Oh wait, that was dude, that was scary as fuck. No, no, I mean, I, I didn't that We got it, though. We caught it. We caught it. They dropped there. Wait, why the fuck did you do that? Yeah, I could have died. Oh. <laughs> it's not out, Greek. Forty-four million years. Maybe it's low on battery. <laughs> Jesus fuck. That's just a, I, I, obviously like the the, the all all the all in on red or black is just like sort of a joke, but I, I think it's kind of hard to predict the future, when it's kind of hard to predict what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. But uh, they would say, well, when I'm off stream, whatever you think about these topics or whatever, but I don't really talk, think about these topics.
Not having a CO2 filter is a most... What are you talking about? I First of all, are you talking about a carbon skimmer? I've got one right here. Like, I, my carbon dioxide is fine, I think. I've got some chlorine here and here. My water tanks are full of shit. But, like, in terms of carbon dioxide, we're fine. And then I'm building some algae shit over here just because I don't want to pipe in water or whatever. Um, I mean, there's a lot of carbon dioxide over here, but that's just because I haven't moved it to my processing. I think I'm okay on CO2. I mean, if I lose to it, then I... I don't know what a CO2 filter is. I don't know what you mean. I have a carbon skimmer. I don't know what CO2 filter is. Mm. Taking risks, taking risks, feel empowering. There's enough for everybody, though. Doesn't taking risks feel empowering for everybody? Um, I don't know. I mean, it depends on the risk. The thing is, the way I treat it, this is this, this how I think I generally, uh, I generally um, think. And if you don't think it's true, feel, me, feel free to call me out on any time and counter argue whatever. My mentality, I feel like streaming is like a very versatile thing. You never know what's going to happen the next day. Maybe you'll, 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 I don't know, get banned or maybe you'll have like a bad stream and it'll end up like really bad. Like maybe there'll be some drama and, and, and it will spread out of control. Something will happen and you'll like lose it all and it'll, it'll all twist and fucking die, right? Like, I feel like in, the, in this field, like, it could very, very well happen. Okay. Right. So I don't want to make, I don't want to think too much ahead or make too much, too many goals ahead of myself because if I get attached to these ideas of these huge goals in the future, oh yeah, I'm going to have that, do this, do fucking that, do this, and I get fucked with like a boom and I lose it all, then then losing it all, the feeling of losing it all won't even be that bad compared to the feeling of losing all, all, all these goals that I had planned ahead of myself. Okay. I think if that makes you happy, I mean, that's for you to decide, right? How's it depressing? How's this a suicide outline? You asked me earlier, what will I do in five years? I'm answering truthfully. I have no plans. And streaming is not a field. If you're if you're a pro player, let's say, and you, you just you just suck now, and all your marbles are in one game, you're washed up. You'll get replaced within a couple couple of weeks, a couple of months, and you'll be fucking dead. If if you do like personality streaming or whatever. And you're not in the mood anymore. Something happens in your real life, and you're not in the mood, and your stream sucks, and it just disappears. Uh, it's not like um, and it, the market is ever changing. You could just be like out of a job, like Joe Michael. I don't, I don't see him as a job like at all, but you want to use that term, so fuck it. Don't you feel that way sometimes? No, my future is pretty important to me. I value um, like living and all that quite a bit. So I want to make sure I'm doing an okay, is an okay job at it without going too crazy. Well, well, you have a child, so it's literally your duty to make sure that's all figured out. No, I don't care. That doesn't impact it. I would still want to live a lot, I think. Okay. You don't, um, it's not something you value or treasure? Like... Women living isn't really that important to you whether you do or don't like if you could do something really epic tomorrow but maybe you would die doing it that wouldn't really bother you that much probably not okay wait was that not the answer there the answer could be whatever you want it to be um 
I mean, considering you don't have like people, like responsibilities or whatever, um, like family, you know, any of that shit. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad answer if, it, if it's something that makes you happy. No, I, I, I don't think I'm tied to anything in the world right now. You don't think what? I'm not really tied to anything in the world. Oh, sure. It's not depressed. What? Dude, this sucks that people are pipping hands and shit like that. Are those just like life philosophies or whatever? Or like just like, um. You know, like mentalities? Being depressed would be, it would be like a, a profound sense of. of. fucking. a lot of things. Being deprived of a lot of things or something. It's, it's like a. Like a it's really, it's just, I guess, like a terrible state. I'm fucking happy as hell, man. I'm happy as hell, dude. Uh, I'm streaming Destiny, talking to chat. Dicks out, dude. Full juice mode, about to three hours, pop it in, boom, bang, pow. Go to sleep again, do it all over again. Dicks out. Some guy says, Who is this dude? Why isn't this new debating retards? <laughs> and he just has a ni nihilistic, if you all like the boys. He's way, way. The way he's depressed himself makes it sound like he's depressed and you're only relating to him because you guys are depressed. Yeah, no, you don't sound depressed at all. It just some people could arrive at some of the answers you're given could sound like somebody that's depressed. Hmm. I just feel like it's really hard to shape the future in your head with the data on hand. It'd be like either really cre creative or crazy or smart, but like very smart to like piece it all together and it, it, for the future to line up with your predictions. I mean, the future doesn't have to completely line up for you to have like a general game plan though, I think. And having a general game plan like... um. It's kind of like if you're holding a football, um, if you don't throw it, it's always going to stay with you. But if you do throw it, you can kind of guess where it'll land, even if you don't know exactly. Just because you don't know exactly where it's going to land doesn't mean you wouldn't try to throw it, right? So, like, making game plans for the future is kind of like the same thing. Like, you might not know, like, 100% where things are going to land. And they might even be off course, but it's better than just holding the ball. It's kind of, I guess, how Okay, it, right? okay, yeah. okay. Then then future game plan, then. Future game plan, so I don't sound depressed. Pog champion. Pog champion, dude. Dude, dude. Two or three years, the juice is high, the juice is flowing. Five years, the juice is still flowing, dude. Six years, seven years, I'm kind of getting old. My bones are getting old. My, my brain's slow. My arms suck. I have arthritis. I can't shoot for shit. I can't play games properly. People don't like my gameplay that much anymore. Drop, drop, drop. Hey, you know what, dude? Guys, you know what, dude? I'm going to take a little bit a little break. Not really a break. I'm actually going to do some fucking marketing. Marketing? This guy, this guy, dude, you're going to make an ad for gamers, dude. I got you, dude. I know, I know how, people, how people feel, how people think, what they want, how what they want to see. Boom. Pop it in. Pay for that shit. Okay, looking good. Coach this guy how to talk, how to appear, how to look nice, do how to do a convention, do this, do that, do that, do that how to act, do this, I'll customize this, make an event, make this, boom. Wait, so what? What? I'm not, uh, yeah, I got lost. <laughs> yeah, so. In, in short, it's like there's a lot of skills that you develop. I feel like as you're streaming, even though you might not realize them, I feel like I'm good at certain things that I realize, maybe or maybe I'm overly um, 
confident about certain, certain skills that mm -hmm. I have that aren't just streaming games and just talking. And I feel like some people lack those very, very much in the industry. And I feel like I could, I could definitely maybe have like a career or whatever if I didn't want to stream anymore at some point and pursue that. Okay. Yeah. I guess it would be like only like uh, I I just feel like sometimes I have these visions for certain things and I feel like I'm right. I feel like I'm right and I wish that if I wanted to pursue that sort of line of work or whatever right if I wanted to do it if somebody believed I could make things run better. Maybe. That if what what like what kind of things? What do you mean by that? Like I don't know, dude. Like some let's say like uh, gamer ads, gamer events, or just fucking um, tournaments, organizations like casting, formatting, scheduling. Dude, people are so retarded. It's filled with such nepotism and it's goddamn industry people can't lead shit and it all leads to cringe shit just look at the fucking uh, rainbow six siege of any other dude you see that cringe fest of a dog shit? they had they had actual real life small soldier people oh, doing the national that. anthem when a girl <laughs> rocking some fucking guitar <laughs> uh, and what the fuck is wrong with you dude i don't know who okay who any of that shit yeah that's pretty cringe I feel that way a lot, where I look at some of these large events and I'm like, who the fuck is running this shit? Like, a lot of this is so obviously stupid, I don't understand how. Yeah. And I feel like I have a decent understanding of what would appeal to a, a more aged uh, following, a more a, a more hardcore of the game itself, uh, uh, make a good balance to the people that are that are not into the game, that are also being watching, like like a mix or whatever. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a decent understanding of all the maybe a little bit of all these things and you know that could help at least at least be an employee in that domain that makes sense not like not like some fucking uh the priest of the forgotten crusade like i know the light follow my word my son you know not shit like that like you know just like an employee or whatever yeah or even like just like a consultant. Yeah. Did you ever watch, you remember in the old StarCraft, like the dream hacks or whatever, when they would give those bottles of champagne to the players that would have no idea what the fuck to do with them? Oh, yeah, I remember that. They, they were, like, shaking it, turning it backwards, spin it. They didn't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. What a fucking... That's not... That's not even PR disaster. That, that's... That's good, because in any case, they know how to do it. It's gonna be fun, because it's not... People that are gaming don't aren't really used to seeing that. It's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. But if they don't know how to do it, it's a good meme. So that's, like, a kind of a win-win. Sure. Just like DJ Khaled, I watched like exactly that shit was so fucking garbage and retarded. You know what, dude? It was probably better than any show they could have ever gotten. Anything good, people would just say, hey, that, that, that's good, nice. But it was so bad, it was pure memes and it made the headlines on everywhere. And people made meme videos about it all the time, free, free promotion. Like, seriously, dude? Do people are really gonna be like, hey, next year, dude, I'm not gonna go to Overwatch League Finals because last year it was DJ Khaled and he underperformed. La, dude, nobody's gonna say that shit. What the fuck? Yeah.
I read both chats right now. I I'm reading Destiny's GGX, uh, uh, fucking DDG chat, his chat, my offline chat. Well, what I like about DDG chat is the fucking emotes. <laughs> yeah, they're funny. I like it when you mouse over them, like they shake and shit. Some of them are pretty cute. Yeah. I like the lizard one. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do I like also? Which one? I, I like the one that is, um... <laughs> I like whenever trying to look at really fucking mad, right? <laughs> and instead of people going wet face, right? Or going like, haha. No, the spammery. <laughs> I don't like my chat. A long time ago, Twitch's chat used to be really fucking bad. I don't know if you remember that. Twitch used to be really shit a long time ago. A lot of people yeah. don't remember. Like, if you were in Europe, you couldn't watch, like, fucking half the streams and shit. Any tournament would always lag and all that shit. Yes, yeah, I remember that. But insomnia, no. Usually days are pretty slow for Mondays for for stream. I think I think the mood is much more relaxed. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like a, I'm gonna do like a like a 37 hour type of thing, where I step a whole day, I stream for like a decent amount the next day, and I go to sleep very exhausted the next day. But I have to go through the, the beginning of my day with like with extreme anxiety. But I, you can go through that really easily. If you get a couple of coffees. Oh fuck! It's early. I get a hot chocolate. Holy shit! I'm so excited. The thing is, is that I would do like really like ridiculously long streams, right? Mm -hmm. The problem with that is that it wouldn't be that good content. And sometimes, you know, you're like, I just want to like chill out and browse the internet. Like, not like watch video, like just browse and just fuck it, dude. Like, chill out the computer. Because I did like a three, two hour stream at some point. And both time I went to bed, I played like an hour, like eight, ten hours. And then I went to bed. But I could have shoot all of it, but that's just kind of trash content. <laughs> fuck that, dude. That's the best content, man. Watching random YouTube videos and doing shit. Yeah, but that's like that's still sort of structured, like you know. Sometimes I just want to like just get set the monitor and just, you know open the calculator, pop a few numbers. Ready to recap? Well, like. Viewer booster. Are people doing, are people hi-hiing me on, on your DDG? Yeah, they're hi-hiing me. <laughs> Uh-oh. The it, legendary like ha-has. I feel like it wasn't like really like a joke where you're like trying to like change the word to that looks like, but it like rhymes and it's funny. It was more like a, <laughs> like if you're a Bruce, like a remold the whole idea of the whole concept and reform it to what it really is instead of what it appears to be. Mm-hmm. Wait, what are, you, what, what are you referring to exactly when you say that? Well, I was joking because people someone, someone said Reddit recap. And I was like, I do Reddit recap whenever like 
but I feel like it's gonna be like a lot of posts. Otherwise, I just don't do it because it's just kind of whatever. And then I just said, I said a bit recap, more like viewer booster, because that's like a good way to like boost viewership or whatnot. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see. But I, that that's not like what that, that would be like why I'm doing it most yeah. of the time, because I could just do it every day. Because but a lot of days I just skip it because. I don't feel like there's a good noticeable content on it. Does like everybody do that Reddit recap thing or? Yeah, it's, it's free viewers. But like I said earlier, like if you always try to like grind like the high viewers or whatever, mm -hmm. I feel like you chase you chase like poison things. I don't necessarily agree, but I know what you mean. It can turn out that way, but it depends. I think if your if your mindset is clear, like. If you if you care about like your average viewers and your your total averages and shit like that, if you scout your viewers by by watching shit or whatever, it it'll make your averages go up. But if you play random games, they'll go down. It'll, it'll tank it. But do you care that much? Do you only like do you only run the engine when it's hot? No, dude. Life isn't about rolling the engine when it's always hot. It's about rolling the engine when it's hot, when it's cold, when it's raining, when it's whatever. So what I'm always about running the engine overall. And then when it's hot, you'll be even harder than other people when it's hot. Okay. I think in general, I, pr I probably agree with you in general. If you're like chasing high viewer accounts, you can mind fuck yourself and fuck your shit up pretty hard by doing that, yeah. That's also a thing uh, with streaming in general. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, oh, this guy only only did it because of hosts, he got lucky, like, I'm never getting hosts or whatever that, uh, that is. But the thing that people don't understand that much, I think I said about, uh, previously before, but it's like, whenever you're grinding at, like, zero viewers or ten or whatever, if you always do the same thing and, and, and put out, like, the content you would, you would normally pull out, like, all the time, that's practice. You're getting good at it. You're, you're doing it. You're It's, like, routines, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens when you get hosted, like, 20k let's say 20k viewers coming at the same time right are most people ready for host are they going to retain or gain from it probably not it'll be like a breeze of fresh air and boom it's it's past it's it, you're not gonna get anything from it right yeah generally if you're grinding, people lose that shit real fast yeah exactly but if you grind the fuck if you grind the fuck out of like streaming overall whenever you get like a like a big host you'll be ready for it but most people aren't ready for them I, I should train. I actually think I train right now is a little bit um uncomfortable in his strength spot. I could be wrong with that. I, I feel like I'm the same way whenever I move to the same place, and I don't like I don't like this spot. I go crazy. If you stay in the same place and don't move, no, if I move. I feel uncomfortable for a little bit, so the content is gonna be like kind of weird. I'll be like really tilted. When you say move, you mean like move houses, like move places? Set up, set up, yeah. yeah. Set up, yeah, change setup, okay. Yeah, I've had like 12 sub this year, it's been crazy. But at the end of the day, I'm never upset at however the loss is or like in like viewers or whatever, whenever I move. So I feel like moving keeps your brain sharp, right? It's changed after depth something, a problem arises that, that wasn't there, boom, you know, you, you gotta gotta find new ways to get the juice. Oh, the, oh there's echo now, I've, I've never done that. Okay, I gotta find new ways to do it. And it keeps you creative and, and, and it's sharp, like a blade. Mm -hmm. Dude, this has been a degenerate stream, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. I think you mean sharp like a cardboard edge.
This guy says, sharp like your mom, Lamau. So good. You added the Lamau at the end, dude. Damn, Maybe that dude kind of you... fucking dumpstered you. Holy shit. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to laugh or not, but with the Lamau, I'm definitely laughing now. Dude, what is that cringe face on your chat? Is that Moose Mooten? The cringe face? Yeah, it's like the Halloween or the Christmas version of the emote or whatever. Yeah, it's Mr. Moon. I didn't sleep yet. Neither, neither did the Mr. Bottle here. Yeah, Mr. Moon might be waking up soon. Speaking up. Yeah, well, at some point I remember on stream he was like doing like his like, uh, dude, like his fucking monthly budget on streamer. Yeah. That kind of made me feel weird a little bit, to be honest. Is it budgeting on streaming? Yikes. Hey, listen, man. Some people do it. Some people are really comfortable talking about money stuff, and some people are really uncomfortable talking about it. I personally feel like... When, when you do that and you mix it with, like, income and whatnot, I think it's, like, a pretty bland, boring topic. But maybe I'm just kind of... I just, like, I just feel like overall money is just kind of a boring topic. Yeah. Almost like a, a, a economy or whatever. Like the big, like, like the big cliche, like people like in clubs, like, Flexing their arms about, about their money and shit like that. I think that's just a fucking sleeper. You don't flex your money when you go to the club? Is that what you're telling me? No. I try, I try to get your bottles when I go to the club. Throw up a couple duos with XQC. When you tell them your XQC, also, they don't. Also, ferret lol. No, I mean... Okay, so maybe it's something that maybe not not people are familiar with, but esports is a pretty fucking investor filled trash industry, pretty much. What is that? But man? Some of these some of these big companies that um, run like uh, League of Legends, some some of them Overwatch League, all of them, they're all running on. Like investor money, right? Like like VC venture capital, they have like a lot of fucking juice, right? That's a lot of money. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. And they don't give a fuck. Like they're they're spending whatnot, right? Like they they don't give a fuck. Huh? So it's like every time you go to a current barbecue or a call or whatever, somebody always wants to pay. Fuck it, dude. Like I'll split the bill, but if you if you really really want to pay, dude, fuck it, man. Take the bill, yo. It's a free bottle, yonky, is it? So, man, if they want to pay for it, fuck. Exactly. But it's always like that, dude. Come barbecue, dude. Did the chase like a thousand dollars? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll pay my, my fifty, of course. No, 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 I got, I did, you got it. Yeah, I, I got the bill. Like, oh, dude, 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 you got it, man. You got, I'm I'm fucking on a Korean barbecue. It's a thousand dollars. What the fuck? Well, if you have like 15 people, but I'm not just cost, right? Oh, I guess you have a lot of people, sure. Dude, I was talking about this with Adept the other day. I think. With who? We to Adept. Okay. We went to um, went to current barbecue like I think I think six times together like in like the past like fucking whatever months uh -huh. and we never paid a single time not me or we, either of us paid for paid for it because you're always with like sponsor people or yeah and i just always with like people that have like 
so, uh, like on some some org or some some fucking manager or something, and they just want to get the bill, and like they jump on it. Like, dude, fuck it, dude. Okay. This is one time when I'm on the club, and I, I, I didn't want to go. I mean, I got forced out of the house. I, I had my hoodie on and my 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 fucking uh, indoor pants. No socks, and I was on my backpack inside with my hoodie on it. And we're getting to this place like a, like a hardcore club, like dude, fucking jumping bracelets, loud music, dude, like everybody like in slutty outfits and shit, loud yelling, yeah, yeah, you guys ready to go in? Woo! No, still the dude. Da, 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 da. Whoa, whoa, shit like that, right? Okay. So oh, uh, yeah. we pop it in, we go there. It's like, oh, dude, it's about to, it's about to close. You did, guys, we're um. Uh, no more drinks in 30 minutes or something. And they order a bunch of bottles. They get a Ciroc, uh, Mr. Moose. No, that's, that's not it. Uh, Dr. Goose, whatever the fuck. Grey Goose? Man, dude. Yeah, Grey Goose. There you go. Okay. Right, they get a bottle of uh, Grey Goose. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, dude. Uh, there's two Ciroc. And a Grey Goose, I think. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So then, um, you, you, uh, they, all they had is pineapple juice, dude. And I don't drink, like, I hate fruits. I never drink, like, fruit juice. So I'm like, dude, I don't like pineapple juice. It's like, oh, it's the only thing we have. I'm like, dude, ah, pss, dude fuck no, dude. So I, I didn't, like, I didn't, I didn't eat anything all day. Mm -hmm. So then, I'm like, yeah, okay, dude, even some of that Ciroc, she starts pouring it, dude. And she gives it like a shot, I'm like, you know, full glass, dude. I was like, dude, I'm a fucking hero. Look at me, dude. I'm a warrior. I one tap that shit, dude. I, I'm like, yeah, people are looking at me like, you're crazy. I'm like, dude, yeah, hell yeah, I'm crazy. Look at me, dude. I'm fucking hot shit. But like, easy clap, dude. But, dude, it took like, it, it, it didn't even take 20 minutes, dude. It didn't take 20 minutes. I got like a wave of heat in my eyes. I almost fucking blacked out. And I ran outside. I thought I was fucking dying, dude. I not gonna get it. I thought I was fucking dying. I found like a like a corner, and I just like sat there in like a good angle so I wouldn't unfall to my death. And I just stood there, dude. And I just like I put my arms on my face and I just stopped moving for like the longest time. I was like counting my pulse, checking if I was fucking breathing. I thought I was fucking dying, dude. It's crazy. Just alcohol. Yeah, dude, dude, I want to have the whole glass of Ciroc, like a glass after not eating it the whole day. I'm 120, dude. That shit was crazy. Damn. That shit went through my bloodstream. It was insane. Anyway, anyway. Oh, yeah, dude, that's that's the night that I went back to my to my, my place. And I decided to uh, sit my, uh, up straight against the bathtub. And I literally couldn't even do it. I passed. I, I didn't pass. I just closed my eyes and I hit my head on the fucking floor. On the cement. It's crazy. Jesus Christ. Anyway. So. We're back inside, dude. And the guy's like, yo, dude, you know. Who's going to cut for the bottles or whatever, right? How much is it? You know, like who's going to get in and pay for it? And we were talking about talking prices, dude. It was, it was one point eight thousand dollars for three bottles. Of right? what, like a wine or something? Or no, no, that was it. Like the, the Ciroc and the and the, the Grey Goose was one point eight oh, for that, oh, three yeah. bottles. And dude, there was like seven of us, dude. Right, and some guy on some like sponsored orgs, like, guys, guys, I got it, man. I I got it. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I got you. Dude. I'm like, did. Those VC guys were always like so weird too. Like they're always like in their like thirties, like early thirties, trying to be like hip or shit. Do you ever do you ever run into any of these types of guys? Oh, of course, yeah. Dude, all the time. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I always feel so bad, and it, it always feels so weird. It kind of feels like you're um. It feels a little bit like you're on a. I don't know if you ever did this in school, like on a field trip. Yeah. Yeah, and they're like your kind of like your teachers, and they're like yeah. these guys in their early thirties, but they're trying to be like cool because you're on like a field trip, so they're trying to say things like really <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. and they're like buying everything, and you feel like a kid, and you're just tagging along. It's like okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, man, dude. Yeah, dude, they got their fucking like um, 
did, did, I don't know why it's a thing. They, they love their their unbuttoned like black shirt that looks like really sharp and tailored. They, they love those, dude. I, like unbutton the top by one button. Uh, look at me. Did, you know what? Did did you look so great today, buddy? Pay the fucking check and fuck you. Is that how you feel a little bit? Oh uh, yeah, a little bit. I don't know. I try not to be negative. <laughs> I don't know. Because these guys are paying for the teams a lot, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like a blazer. No, I'm not like a blazer. It's like a normal shirt. I feel like it's like a thing. Everybody loves that that really sharp, paler like shirt, but no, no under and no above. It's like a, a normal shirt. They unbutton like the last button at the top, and they look like all hot shit. And they wear their credit card like a fucking samurai sword. Oh god, why do I have 91% stress? Wait, what happens if they hit 100% stress? Do they die? So rude to get a picture of everything? That was a joke, dude. Like, it, it's not like that. It, it, I mean, I, I, we, the point I was making is like, if, if they want to like that, some of them like act like all... But that night wasn't like that, though. Uh, I, it, it, these guys were pretty chill, though. But overall, this is very right. Is this guy that keeps spamming CO2 filter in chat, is this guy like an elaborate troll? I, I can't tell. <laughs> I think he is actually. What is, what is that mean? He just keeps saying like CO2, oh, it is a troll. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's just some random shit, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I used to work at um, uh, Labatt or whatever, like Budweiser and whatnot. You used to work at Budweiser? Yeah. What are you or doing? Labatt. Doing what? Like, it's like Hanheiser Bush or whatever you call that shit. I do like a bunch of shit over there. Uh, I would like wash like the under of like rotten tanks that has like whatever the ingredients are that go on. Sometimes they go out on the sides and whatnot and they're like rotten and it makes like big patches of rotten juice. And we would just scrape it off the floor, put it in boxes because we literally put it in boxes and we, we would like pressure wash the floor. Mm -hmm. A bunch of like that. Also, I also did like janitor over there at some point. So I wanted to go on my own. And what was I about to say about that? Fuck, I don't remember. Wait, wait, what were we talking about before this? Um, I don't know. I asked you, you said you worked at Budweiser and that sounded weird. Yeah, but just, just before that, there's, there's a reason I brought that up. CO2, yeah, CO2. Oh. Thank you. Like carbonation or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I had, uh, we had um, CO2 detectors, is that thing? Yeah, CO2 detectors, correct? Okay. Is that a thing? Is that dangerous? Is CO2 de dangerous? Because it's dangerous? Yeah, if you inhale too much of it, you'll die, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. So we had CO2 detectors that we would, would we could just um, staple or not staple, uh, um, attach to our belt or whatever. So what I did is I attached mine to my, um, just just to my, whatever I work on, like, like this like hazmat suit or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And I was scraping, right? And I was like really far into the room, and it just goes out like, like it's really high. Like, oh my fucking shit, dude! Like, because that could mean that there's like a like a CO two like gas pipe leak or something, right? Mm -hmm. And you gotta get the fuck out. So I started running like crazy, right? Like, and I I couldn't run because I had to crawl before because I had to go under the tanks. So I was like literally like just crawling, 
like like dude like holy shit right okay it doesn't stop so i keep i keep crawling then i stand up after that after the thing i start running dude i run the place then then it's still beeping dude so i i keep running it's still beeping i keep running and then i just like take out take off all my shit so i'm like can't see it and i realized that the whole time the the monitor of co2 i attached it to my to like my collar and i was breathing oh, into it breathing. the whole time <laughs> <laughs> Nice job. Did you like get in trouble for that? Do you have to like sound an alarm for any of this shit or? No, no. It's a personal thing. Okay. Nice job. Yeah, that was Brandon Almond. It was crazy. Does need fix the all gay thing? What is the all gay thing? The what? So he said, Destiny fix the all gay thing. The all gay thing? Don't get my camera. <laughs> Don't you have to get ready for school, Nathan? <laughs> well, go finish eating. You gotta go to school in like 20 minutes. All G. All G. Is that how you said that? All G. All oh, G. Oh, all G. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay. Although, some of my people are hitting 100% stress. I don't know what the hell that's going to do. But how did the American language inventor think it's okay to say it? You say, you say algae? Algae. Why is it ah, not all? Algae? Algae. I don't know. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not. Why is there not, why is there not like a rule? I just said we're going to There are no rules in the English language. What the fuck is wrong with my tiles? Are these like breaking guys? What the fuck is going on here? Cold damage? Wait, can I not? Why doesn't it break over here? It's under the tile? Oh, liquid pipe. Awaiting. Because English is language of conquerors. Simon, so I don't speak McDonald's. <laughs> oh. My water is freezing. Okay. Okay, dude. How deadly do you think cardboard cardboard bars start? I don't know, ask women. <laughs> it's not really that funny. <laughs> this cardboard meme is way out of proportion, to be honest. With you. Have people been trying to trigger you with it? Uh, I mean, I don't get triggered. I'm done with it. <laughs> so, this is a funny meme now. I feel like if, I feel like if you had TTS like on with like big volume, it, it would be really really just complete garbage for this stream. Oh yeah, people would probably be memeing about it constantly. You can never skip the memes. Yeah. See, look at his anti dude. I banned him really on my channel, dude. Try hard reformed smiley, dude. Dude, go watch Ice, dude. He's probably gonna go live it's so sometime this week, alright, buddy? How is. How is. Uh, would you know? How, how has Ice been? Has he been streaming a lot or? I don't know. Can't keep up his quarantine ban. He's all of it, dude. He's just juiced out. <laughs> juiced out. The entertainment model can't survive. I don't. It's it, he's okay. I don't want to talk about him too much. It, this is like kind of like isn't that TOS to talk about it? Wait, what? You don't get TOS for talking about 
What's going on with ice? No way. Well, the bar for entertainment on YouTube, since there's no way to grow that from there, unless it's like from other sources, I feel like there's no discoverability on YouTube, but the bar for entertainment is higher every time you make it something good. Yeah. It goes so high that it's almost impossible. And and then people will say, well, just stream and do it. And then you, and then you stream and say, hey, it's sleeper. Then you don't do it and say ditching. You, you can never win. And the bar like, is higher all the time. And you run out of ideas, you run out of content. It's like, it's, it's in. It's a, it's an impossible model to continue on, and it's it is honestly a miracle that you made it this far. Okay, what is melting in here? Is it just the background? I don't understand what the fuck is melting, or is it this shit on the floor? This is fucking disgusting. Glass blowing, glass balls are 2,000 years old. The polluted oxygen is condensing. Even though I'm trying to pull it out with my deodorizers? Polluted oxygen will concentrate with cold enough, it's annoying as fuck. I don't think people had bottles 2,000 years ago. No, glass bottles, yes. Okay, we're done with this algae shit. This shit is fucking stupid. I have no fucking idea what is going on here. You're saying CO2 filter. I, yeah, it's the one fucking man. <laughs> I fell for it. If there's not resources to make one thing, does it not just automatically move on to the next? That seems kind of dumb. I don't think I've ever seen it. this few people online on my follow bar, dude. It's insane. Man, we're at a really fucking weird time of the day. I have four people online in my entire follow selection. Dude, you're... Dude, I think you're actually in the most viewed Twitch channel on Twitch overall. No, you're not. No, no way. You're actually, yeah. Wait, am I? Yeah, like, uh... Five... 17th. Oh. Okay. Did it, does this stuff get repaired automatically? Are these guys going to work on this? Or what the fuck are my people doing right now? Oh, champ! I'll smoke weed. I can black out. What is like repair? Is that priority of tidy? Oh, this is repair. Did I feel like this game that you're playing? Yeah. Is so in depth. In depth, it's like fucking rediscovering science. Oh, you should see um, either Factorio or another game called RimWorld. <laughs> this like has a lot of fucking like conditions and resources and shit. Guys, you gotta build these pipes. Guys, out of everybody in the chat, be serious dude. I actually wonder how many people are actually legitimately full time looking at the monitor and looking at what happens in the game and interested in like uh, not like in a in a, in a roof way. Like, oh they're looking. Like, they know what's going on. Like who knows what's going on? He's like, oh, you, oh, oh, this could happen. This, oh no, not this. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 this, this. 
This is kind of hard to keep up with. Uh, you in the back? You're spacing out. Okay, can we do last year? Last year was nine percent background material. Wait, what was the last thing you just said? People say that live, stream, live streams are 100% bag of material. I agree 100%. I think if you if you stray away, if you stray away and get almost most of your viewers to actually watch your stream, you you win. For that day, anyway. Yeah, does they call me XYZ, dude? That's not, that's not my name, dude. XYZ. <laughs> I always mixed you up. You know the Stargirl player um, QXZ, right? Yeah, they got the bandana. Yeah, I would always mix you up with them because they have similarity in your names. What happened with them? I thought, I thought it was like good for like two seasons and then it was done, so. I mean, everybody in NA was good for every now and then, right? Yeah. <laughs> Like general. And last of your seasons, I lasted fucking one split. Mr. Moon says, thanks for keeping his seat warm. Wait, what? what? Oh, you we're probably his... gonna play again soon. You mean in his, in his fucking mom's bed? Sure, yeah. bud. Guys, I don't know what happened, but everything is falling apart. Oh, really? He didn't say that. I just wasn't for no reason. Damn. Yeah, that sucks. That's even worse. Ah, fuck it, dude. They can fridge out the Mr. Moon and who wouldn't? What are my people doing? Why do you guys all keep going down here? Just stop fucking with this shit. Take it, now take it, boy. Seriously though, all jokes aside, you can you can come whenever you want. As, oh, yeah. soon as, Mr. as soon as Mr. Moon sits down, I'm about to go bake some eggs, smoke some fucking weed, inject some uh, juices in my butt. I thought you just said you didn't smoke weed. Yeah, I don't. I just made that up for the viewers. Really? <laughs> yeah. I actually don't smoke weed. I uh, uh, blackout. Yeah, I actually blackout though. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. No, no, uh, like I actually black out like it's no fun. Like it, it's like my vision becomes like tunnelly, and then it shrinks to zero, and I just pass out. Oh. And then you're talking about the game blackout. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, and there's one side. Uh, I was like with my friends in like a in like some some ski place, and start smoking like some some wood or something, and you start to get out, and it's like fading. I'm like, yo guys, wait, wait, yo wait, and it's like they, they wait. And I sort of just like, uh, and I just fall to my side, right? And then I wake up, and they're all gone. All my friends left me. So then I go down the hill, and I was like, oh, dude, what the fuck? I'm just, uh, I sit down, I sit down in the middle of the hill, and I fall asleep again. Wait, do you have like I, narcolepsy or? No, I'm just like passing out, literally just passing out. And I, I finally, I, 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 by miracles, I make it down the hill. As I'm passing out like everywhere, every like every couple sec like seconds or something, mm -hmm. then I just go into the fucking like the the main place at like ski hills, and just put my hands uh, on the picnic table or whatever, and I just, I just fell asleep there. And then my friends never came back, and at some point they did came back, and they ordered like corn dogs, right? I was like, oh, is there one for me? And they're like, yeah, and they wake me up, and said they said they they ate it. And then they put the stick in my ears. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Okay. Oh my god, guys. Is it all going to become this Great. far? Yeah, they were like licking the sticks and they're, they're, they're putting them in my ears by the corn dog sticks. Moving this off. I think it, I think it was fucking with this cold biome. It's probably super disgusting down here. My people are getting hella tip triggered having to run down here over and over again. 24-hour stream hype. I don't quite understand where all these dumbass liquids are coming from. I guess everything is just condensing or whatever. Yo, Ben Dorino, what are you talking about? I saw that. I saw you talking about someone in the chat. Why is it even his call anymore? I don't know, dude. We sort of derailed it. Because I wasn't talking about any of the topics, I just stayed. I was like kind of waiting for this to start a topic, so I could be like, "Oh, he's he's back on on his turn of head." No, nope, I'm just. I, I, I can just dip it while letting letting him this political kingdom of mind trails, but it never happened, so I just stick around. Nice, like a backwood. The fuck is a backwood? Destiny, what is that? A backwood? A backwood? Yeah. I have no idea. It's a blunt paper. A cigar. I've had hash laced with opium. The way you're explaining it, dude, dude, I was like, I was like fucking 15, dude. I don't, I don't hang out with fucking drug dealers. I mean, I hang out with drug dealers, but not like fucking kingpins, dude. <laughs> Those guys are juicing too much. Yeah. Uh, well, the thing, the thing with drug dealers is that most of them aren't very smart. Uh, they just spend all their their juice on like useless shit, right? Like. Upgrades with a trash ass car, dumbass clothes that look fucking stupid, expensive phones that are gonna be used in a couple months, and most of it is like all in like restaurants and shit. So they don't make like you make more money by staying at home doing nothing than they make like selling weed all day, pretty much. That's just how it is. You can turn your cold biome that you have your colon to stand on the mesh tile so the water pools at the bottom instead. Oh, maybe. Dude, I'm rocking, I'm rocking a Note 4 right now, dude. That shit's the fucking bomb. Holy shit, that phone is like seven years old, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's still smoking out, dude. One of your uh, viewers made uh, said the F word in French in your uh, GG chat. Damn, dude. Damn that guy. This shit finally on. Okay. Yeah, yeah Moon, just just ban town from that chat, dude. He's he's not. Just ban town black town from that chat. He's not. The Tyrone guy? Yeah, he's in your GGX chat. Uh, GG, GG, GG chat. He's just chilling, dude. Here you go, I'll ban him for a while just for you, okay? 
There you go. No, it's not. It's not a thing against him. You can chat, and you mentioned. I just feel like he's not like of the of the wavelength of your of the highest moral D character. Your DG viewers, DG chatters. Could be wrong. Come on, bro. This cold biome was a mistake, guys. This is a fucking unmitigated disaster. Christ. I'm listening to Suicide Boys. What do your parents think about your job? Do you talk to them a lot about it or? Nope. Are they happy that you like make money and shit or do they want you to do something different or? I try not to perceive it. I don't perceive it as a job or talk about it as a job. I just say I'm just doing shit on the internet. Okay. Ask just need to show you his snapping trick. Oh yeah, that's how I get subs. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, listen up. If you guys have a Twitch Prime account and you haven't fucking subbed yet because you're being lazy, fucking piece of shit, let's see it. I'm just give him a little, uh, give him little snaps. <sighs> I suck at snapping, but you know. And then usually a few of them all hop on. All right, boys, you heard the man. There we go. A couple of them. They're waking up. The Garu. Atheotos, Vismos, Mushrooms, Mira Salty, Oprah's a nipple. <laughs> Do you ever thank your subs? Or call them out on stream ever? Fine. Wait, XQC? What's up? Oh, do you ever call out your subs or whatever? I call them something? Like, uh, like call them out? Like say thanks for subbing or whatever? Yeah, of course. What the fuck? Oh, I don't know. Damn. Some people don't give a fuck. Yeah, I read the resubs and shit. Okay. Wait, do, you, do you not call them out? Sometimes I do. <laughs> That's not very nice. He calls out every sub. Holy shit. Do you really? What? What is it? Call all your subs out? You're a juicer, dude. Yeah. I try my best, but sometimes I miss some. Don't snap at me. Alright. I'm gonna go bother Mr. Wynn, okay? Yep. Alright. Thanks for hanging out, alright? Of course. I subbed gonna... four right, days ago. Bye, but I don't want you to be embarrassed in front of your big boyfriend. Okay, why isn't this running efficiently? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna just finish this, then I go do Mr. Moon. It works, Pog. Telling you, Joy to stay. I said.